you know. Lindo Benzan, you wish to go on Okay, so first match, here we go, is gonna be I'm Help versus H2O. So, uh, two combatants that have participated in previous iteration of the Bro Cup, but we never actually saw them on screen. So, this is going to be a very, very nice uh, first one. Definitely looking forward to it. As you can see, I Am Help is rocking the Daru Eno, uh, the Daru Eno skin. So, let's see if he can bring joy and honor to uh the the ino god for us we shall see in a short while amato san kyo mo yoroshiku naishimasu eto sticky na fausto no eto code zeshi tomo mishite kudasai kyo mo yoroshiku naishimasu tanoshimi shite mas okay anyways here we go and i'm hell fighting the six feet overture right there anti air is gonna get a wall break thanks to the re-jump jumping he's very nicely done he's gonna get a wall break with positive bonus Try to go for a twist there, and the clash in favor of I'm Help Pigs. The first round very, very, very nicely. So let's see if H2O can try to make a, a comeback. We shall see. Here we go again with I'm Help going with the pesky jumping D. Rejump that. That opens up even the best players in this game. Anyways, ah, here we go with the trade. H2O trying to find the opening. Has the stain status on I'm Help. Oh, I'm help almost got open right there, but fortunately, well, fortunately for him, but unfortunately for H2O, H2O kind of missed time his two, uh, his 2K on the way down of I'm help from his uh, chemical love, which made it with unfortunately. But that being said, I'm help does have the coordinator positioning, looking very good. Should be able to, uh, not enough, but gets the kill with the last over. Very nicely done. First match goes to I'm Help. Let's see if H2O decides to change character or stick with his gun. We shall see in a couple of seconds. And he decides to stay with his character. And rightfully so, Testament is a very, very nice, um, how do you say, neutral monster. Definitely can put a lot of pressure on Eno if they manage to keep her at bay. But I'm Help doing a good job of mixing between uh, physical rushdown and zoning with the notes. Definitely giving a handful to H2O, going low, low, down, low, down. Here we go with the stroke wall splat. He's gonna get the wall. Uh, the, yep, he's going for the wall break. I thought he was gonna go with the wall splat, but he didn't. Yo, Hagamai, how are you doing? Yes, I'm doing pretty good. Hopefully, you are doing good as well. Here we go with H2O, going with the TP. Got out of pressure, but got zoned out by the chemical love for the kill by help. He takes the first round of the second match as well. Immediate start of the round with the stroke by Anhel. Definitely this guy knows no fear, but unfortunately gets grabbed right after a teleportation from H2H2. H2. Has the corner position, gets hit by the Sultry performance and counter hit on the hover for corner carry. He bays the golden burst, is a little bit too late to punish, goes for a series of stroke to get that wall splat, does get it, and converts into the overdrive for the kill. Second match goes to I'm Help as well. I'm Help, I'm Help, you definitely don't seem like you need help, but I'm just saying, that being said, it is not over, chill, it's over. H2O definitely has the means to bring it back. He does have a little bit of problems trying to contain that freaking fury that is M help. This man does not know the back button at all. <laughs> Good lord, sultry performance there, stroke here, chemical performance there and aware. And here we go with the wall break with the overdrive that Fortissimo forcibly broke that wall. And that is the round for I'm help set point for him round start with the heavy stroke gets hit by the aerial skull okay h2 getting some pretty decent damage here goes for this the the skull throw i'm help still man oh lord look at this man i'm help going completely am doing using a lot of ticks from daru Eno, but then again which Eno player does not use <laughs> daru Eno stick that being said, a very, very strong performance from this player, man. Oh, Lord. Oh, no, no. And here we go with the anti-air. And the Arbiter. H2O on a thread. About to get anti-air. And gets anti-air. Rightfully so. The match goes. But it's okay. I can double. I can still. Uh, I can multitask. Hopefully, we shall see. So, uh, let's see. I do believe Yanyu is from China. Yes, he is. Okay, so this and I just need to update uh, the uh, results and then we can go on our jolly way. 
はいえっと、ご参考までに、えー、一応入室された後、えっと必ず試合はそのまま始めないでくださいちょっと私の指示を、えっと、待っていただいてで、えっと、指示した後に、えっとに、はい、そのまま開始しても OK ですけど、えっと、勝手に始めないでくださいね、まあ、とりあえず、Anyway, here we go with the start of the round NRA is getting that grab and immediately gets the first round very very quickly very very、uh, one-sidedly if I might say Anyways, start of the second round, or he's going for the low this time around. Gets the 6P counter hit, gets the juggle from Sending K into the 6HS, and again with the 6HS, man. Arbiter, 40 overhead. Ah,、uh, will punish. Oh, a little bit too far to get the RC conversion off of the、uh, forest. Again with the 6P, man. RX not afraid. Very nicely done, Barx. Takes the first round extremely convincingly. 1 to 0, 1 to nail, takes the lead. What is Yan Yu gonna do? We shall see. Thank you very much for the follow, Romeo Key, and welcome to the Bro Joes. Here we go, the start of the round from Yan Yu gets the Bandit Bringer, but unfortunately, due to the Abari by RX, is forced to pop the burst to get out of this pickle. Very nice whiffed、uh, DP punish right there from RX. Thank you very much for the follow, Paisley Mamiske. Hold on, Paisley. Paisley Mamiske, follow me, thank you very much. And here we go with the corner carry by Yanyu. Doesn't want to use,、uh, I'm sorry, Rx、uh, reticent to use his verse, and rightfully so. He does have a lot of,、uh, of meter to play with right now. He's probably gonna get the kill with. Oh no, and not enough to kill. You hate to see it. Okay, very, very nicely used RC again. RC by Yanyu gets the whiff punish. He tried to go for the grab, but RX or of it just jump out of the way and lands right on top of his nose. How are you doing, Donnie?、Uh, congrats for yesterday's、uh, tourney win, by the way. I think you won yesterday, right? The、uh, SEA tournament. I think you did, yeah. Anyways, thank you very much for the follow, Anobato, and welcome to the b r o j o s And RX with that crow anti air, you hate to see it. Holy freaking lord. And back to neutral. RX very, very patient. Doesn't want to overextend. He does have the life lead, not only the life lead, but also the match lead. So he definitely is sitting quite comfortably here, inviting Yanyu to just use the vortex and punishing him accordingly. Probably gonna get the kill with the. Nuts drove, yeah, it's not gonna be enough to kill though, you hate to see it. Anyways, we have an Oki situation, goes for the safe to HS and tried to go for that six for the quick dust for the kill, but Danjo, not Danjo, I'm reading his kanji wrong. Um, not Dango. Yanyu, Yanyu, yes. Yanyu did a very nice back. No, he dropped a combo, you hate to see it, and RX takes this opportunity to steal. Not a, really steal, actually, to secure the second match of very. Very smoothly. Good evening, z a m t h o r i f i c and welcome. How are you doing, man? Welcome back. Big 2S counter hit right there from y z o for the conversion and corner carry. Gets it by the Bari Barx and、uh, emergency burst in order to keep RX in the corner, but RX finds another opportunity to a bar and get out of the pressure. Very nice bait by Yanyu. I couldn't get the conversion, but it's okay. He still had. Quite the hefty,、uh, the hefty life lead and still managed to take it in the end. Very nicely done. Yo, Snoozy, how you doing, man? Welcome back. And、uh, back to the neutral RX with the freaking mid 6P. Definitely doing the work right there. Gets the Arbiter off of the stained state into a wall break situation where he's gonna get. Oh, Lord, positive bonus. But eat that. Yes, you're going to eat that wonderful Fafnir. But RX jump out of pressure and almost gets the kill. That being said, Yanyu not. Oh, Yanyu gets hit by the lateral skull. Unfortunately for him, we are on set point. Let's see if RX can seal the deal or if Yanyu can manage to pull out a magical, a miraculous, a miraculous、um, uh, comeback. That would be. Actually, pretty crazy, but things are looking pretty bleak for him, not going to lie. Arx definitely not overextending, but gets hit by the forest. That wonderful forex. 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 <laughs> forex from Yanyu. Yanyu trying to get the juggle, but unfortunately, probably didn't get the correct round, the correct, the correct、uh, setup, but it's still okay. He gets the kill thanks to the、uh, quick RC cancel into 
jumping HS, which kills the uh, jumping animation and makes him l land low quicker. And then he went for the 2k for uh, the opening and the kill. That being said, man, Yan Yu. Oh, Lord, he got the freaking bait on the good. On the good burst. On the gold burst. Okay, Rex in pretty dire straight. Not going to lie. His life is going to melt right here. Not enough to kill, obviously, but. Still a pretty nice life lead right there. Free on me on you gets the 2S counter hit yet again. Probably recognized that RX was going for two, one too many two, uh, six Ps in neutral. And uh, yeah, Yanyu definitely uh, looking out for them and resorting not to use the far S, but actually using the 2S in order to blow that 6P away. And it's definitely working in his favor right now. RX looking a little bit lost in uh, translation, if I might see it. Say, oh lord, he almost got the burst bait. Uh, a little bit too late on it, but that being said, he gets anti-air right there by the lateral skull, trying to get out of the corner, but RX securing these airways with uh, the aerial skull, and look at the damage, he's in stained state, has to hold it, Lord in the vortex, and RX still holding on, man, to, oh, gets hit by the far S, and man, no, just let it rip, Oh, very nice take right there from RX, man. Oh, oh, oh and the DP again for the kill, man. Young, you're not letting anything go, man. That man is back on track and is actually on the verge of pulling a comeback. That would be sick. Okay, let's see how this pans out. It was a uh, gold burst punish. Uh, you can punish the gold burst with the forest from uh, from uh, Salt. He has enough. Uh, his his move is quick enough to uh, to reach the gold burst. Uh, but uh, I, I think he didn't punish it. I'm not quite sure. But you can punish it, yes. You you can with uh, with salt. That being said, man. Oh, RX first to pop the burst. And RX already down in life. What is going on, man? Oh, Lord. And the DP, man. Coming back to the source. Coming back to Unga Bunga style. That's the way, I, that's the way that salt should be played, man. Okay, good stuff. RX checks these uh, legs. RX going for the throw. And again for the throw, and this should be enough to kill RX with the quick RC. And just like this, we are on match point. His R is going to be managed is going to manage to pull A to secure actually this uh, this this round. We shall see in a couple of minutes. That being said, a pretty bad start of the round by RX. And again, man, with the 4S counter hit. Here we go, Yanyu getting that wall break. What is RX gonna do? Ooh, Lord, the 2K2X out oh, 2D! Very nicely done by RX. He's gonna get the stain stained and the big bandit bringer, man. And Yanyu know, should be able to seal this one if he doesn't drop it. And he doesn't. We're going on to the last round of the last match. What is gonna happen? RX already in Dire Street. Are we gonna see an upset? That would be sick, man. Here we go with the 2K 2D. RX doesn't want to let it go like this, man. He doesn't want to be eliminated already. Not eliminated, but sent to the loser's racket so abruptly, which would be understandable. Very nice with punish right there. Uh, on the 6 HS using the 6 P and again man that forest not not far enough gets hit by the Arbiter oh lord and you jumped you shouldn't have jumped the Abara right there from Yanyu oh the gun flame but gets hit by the Abara again man or he's taking this opportunity to go straight for the uh, Nozrovia this is gonna do a lot of damage by the way uh, is it gonna kill it might it's not okay one more chance for Yanyu to bring it back Oh, Yanyu trying to go for the 6 age and gets hit by the lateral skull for the kill. RX clutch would have. In the end, it didn't happen. That being said, what the hell? What? Stilla? Stilla's rocking me? No way. Wait, wait, wait. What? Stilla's rocking me? Are you serious? Okay, so for info, Stilla is originally a bike in May, and he's been like playing bike in for like forever, literally forever. So the fact that he's playing uh, Mei right now is a very, very surprising. So maybe it's a, either a matchup thing. It can be a matchup thing in the sense that... Um, what's her name? Uh, Jacko blows away the... Uh, how do you call it? The... Um, I forgot the name. The Hiragi from Baiken. Given that she has... Uh, she has uh, minions that she can use to attack Baiken. Midi on wake up. So that makes it so that it blows away the Hiragi and still gives uh, damage points to um, to to Hagira. So, not to Hagira, but to Jacko in, in general. So that might explain why Stella, specifically for this match, uh, decides to resort to using... Um, to using... Uh, 
uh, May, but we shall see, we shall see. Uh, but for now, first match did go to Hagera rather confidently, so let's see if that was the correct answer or not. We might actually see a character change, it's not impossible. That being said, here we go with the Totsugeki machine, and Hagera probably gonna pop the... No, not gonna pop the burst. He's gonna get hit by that uh, 6HS, though. Okay, and we are back in uh, the uh, uh, neutral. That being said, I get up, found the opening, goes for the minion. Pressure! Almost got hit by the sweep, by the way, and get sweep by those, uh, get hit by the sweep into a killing combo. We have one round of piece, a tie, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see how far this can go. And on to the second, uh, the third round, actually. Very, very strange. Does counter hit right there. Managed to actually get a uh, juggle off of it. Here we go with Hagara using the guard point to prevent the advancement of Stella using the Totsugeki. Stella did find the opening right there, trying to make his way ever so slightly. Using the Totsugeki, finds the opening, forces Hagara to pop the burst. No jump in. Oh, Lord, that bow! Double counter hit! Triple counter hit! No, no triple counter hit, but big double counter hit right there from Stella. Trying to whiff punish here. Very nice reactions right there from Hagiara to use the 2k2d in order to wave punish. And Yabare from Hagiara on wake up looking out for this overhead. Definitely didn't want to get hit by it. And Stella in the corner gonna get the side switch and this should be enough to kill. Yes, it definitely is. Tochugeki for you, sir. Get out of here. And Stella taking the lead 1 to 0. Let's see how this pans out. We shall see. Not gonna lie, high level Jacko pressure always scares me like I don't understand something. Me too, man. Just one of these characters, uh, which I put in the same basket as uh, Gold Lewis, uh, Zato, and uh, and uh, to some extent Happy Chaos as well. They're the type of characters which can uh, put you, when you, they have you in the, the corner, their uh, offense seems endless. And it you uh, and you only have like one opportunity to press a button or like to jump at one at certain particular instances. And if you don't do it, they just uh, continue. They continue their offense for another like ten to fifteen minutes, uh, ten to fifteen seconds. So, so yeah, it's uh, it's it's something that I don't particularly understand because the way to get out of their pressure is not very straightforward if you don't have tension bar. And that's what I don't really like about these types of characters. So Jacko, uh, what's called Goldwiss, Zato, and uh, there was another one. Uh, which was the other one? Happy Chaos is not that problematic anymore because he's. Uh, but for for me personally, I feel because you can like use uh, FD to push him out of like distances where he can be problematic uh, when he's close by. But like yeah, Zato, Jacko, Goldwiss, and there was other character. I suppose Nagori Yuki to some extent too. I feel like, yeah, their corner pressure is like suffocating and you only have like one chance to guess right or if you guess wrong, you get open and you lose like 40% of your health. And if you if you don't react, they they uh, they loop their pressure. That's that's what I wanted to say. That being said, here we go with the jump in, man, by Stella. Oh, get the goal burst! That being said, Hagiara does have the... Oh, he does have the, uh, what's called, the, the life lead and the round lead as well. Hagela going completely ham in the corner, goes for the grab yet again. Again with the grab and he, they should be able to kill, going straight into the Illusion Driver for the kill. Boom! Too bad, so sad, bye bye Dolphin, and one match apiece. We have a tie, ladies and gents. Okay, good stuff, Hagela did find some things. Uh, bed fits into that angle, uh, so bed is a little bit different, I feel. Because bed, uh, so bed, bed is, if he doesn't have bars, he can't really loop in his uh, corner pressure, I feel. So bed, it's either you block, and he does, uh, and in his uh, corner pressure, he does the, uh, his project out. Or you mash a button, and uh, if he goes for the, not the bomb, if he goes for the, uh, the explosion, that leads to the bomb. If he goes to, if he goes for the explosion, you'll hit him, if you do a low you'll hit him so it's not i feel like you have like more opportunities to it like for me it's a, a a pressure where you do anything other than block it like if you just block they get to loop their pressure i feel is very very strong and i feel like bedman doesn't have this because bedman if you block and he does his projectile it's your turn it's your turn back it's off it's it's your turn back 
So yeah, I feel like it's a little bit different for Bid, personally. But but then again, I, I haven't been watching like footage of Bid. Maybe they found like new text or whatnot, so it's perfectly possible. But yeah. Uh, anyway, that being said, here we go. This is going down to the wire. Look at that, man. Oh, and the burst is... Yes, yes, yes. Hagera is not going to burst this time around. Decides to keep his dem burst uh, for the next round. Let's see if that was a correct answer or not. That being said, Stila does take the lead. Very nice entire right there using the standing K by Sutela. Gets the 2D counter hit. Forces Stila to, to pop the burst. Here we go with the juggle using the minion. And Hagela with the corner pressure. Wow, that was an emergency. Dolphin gets hit by the... Oh, no! No juggle right there. This is unfortunate. Very nice use of uh, the guard point. And Hagela should be able to take it with the... Again, the illusion driver. That being said, yeah, he's gonna kill. Wasn't quite sure with the guts level of May, but Hagela managed to take it. Good stuff by Hagela. Moving on to the next battle. Not the next battle, but the, next, the final round of this match, by the way. And Hagiara get drops first blood. Gonna push Silla in the corner. Forces him to respect them pressure. Nice take from Silla. Does get grabbed in the air though. And that shimmy. Hagiara man going for the safe tech. Unfortunately fails to juggle correctly but still gets the kill. Good stuff from Hagiara and very nice awareness from this man. Knowing that uh, Silla was going to pop the burst or had his burst and had very low life. Oh, and here we go, Stella going for a bike, and I can guarantee you. But yeah, very nice awareness from Stella to uh, back off while uh, uh, hmm? during the stun animation uh, and using one of their minions to throw at Stella in order to deal a blow and not get hit by the burst. Like, that was genius from Hagara, and very nice awareness from him, and nice character knowledge as well. I mean, his own character, knowing all of the options that he has in order not to get blown off by the by the burst. That was very nice uh, awareness from him overall. That being said, still out with his signature bike in the blue bike in, by the way. Okay, trying to find the opening, gets the Kabari, and Hagara with the uh, instant blocks using the FD also to put distance between them and still up. Well, I want to see that Baikon have free person. Yeah, yeah, no, Stella is very good with Baikon. Let's hope that uh, the... But the thing is that I think that uh, Stella uh, chose to play with uh, with May because he he's not confident with the Jacko matchup. So it might... We not might see Stella shine during this battle right now. Unfortunately. Due to uh, probably his... Um, his uh, lack of confidence in uh, the, uh, the Jacko matchup. And that was a hero burst, man. I really hope that was worth it, Stella, man, because holy freaking lord, this is a very steep mountain to climb up. Oh, no! And just as I say this, man, things are looking pretty good! Oh, lord! Oh, lord! And he clutches his back just as I say this! Good stuff, Stella, man! And Hagiara not popping the burst either. That was uh, surprising. Very nice uh, HS right there from Hagiara. And the bar again from Hagiara. Almost got the juggle. And Stella with the two HS. But very nice back dash from Stella. Gonna get a corner pressure right there. Tried to go for the fully charged dust. But Hagiara was aware of it. And that shake from Hagiara. The 2k 2d man. Very nicely done. Gets hit by the um, the Kabari though. And again man. The 6 HS on the 6p of Hagiara have been pristine. Not letting Stella jump on him whatsoever. Stella using... Uh, oh, Lord! Are you serious? That hit actually encounter it? Oh! Yen Hayara, man, finally forced to pop the burst. If he didn't, that would have spelled death. That being said, one minion is on uh, the board. Not anymore. And the jump in from Hayara. Hayara, man. I'm forcing Stella to pop the burst. And again with the 6P, man. Hayara clutching it back. What you can do, I am definitely doing better there. <laughs> You want to clutch it out? I'm going to clutch it out. That's what Hagiara said right now. Just right now, we are on set point. Let's see if, I, and if Stella can bring it back. We shall see. On the beautiful BGM of Bloody Roar. Primal Rage. Oh, fantastic game, by the way. That Konami yet again decided to drop and instead focus on Pachinko. <laughs> that being said, Stella going for the corner pressure. Going completely ham and not letting Hagiara press a single button. You want to jump out? I'm not going to let you jump out. Oh, no! You're going to get grabbed! You stay in the corner, I said, sir! 
And Stalock lodging it out, man. Putting one on the board again. We have a, a tie, ladies and gentlemen. It's going down to the wire. Yosensen worked like an anti anti. Yeah, pretty much, man. It altered his jumping arc and uh, altered his uh, uh, the jumping speed at which uh, at which Stella uh, landed. So that made it so that the Yosensen uh, kept still a little bit in the air for longer than expected, just enough not to get hit by the 6P, and the returning hit of the back Yosensen hits uh, hits uh, Hagiara as a whiff punish. That's how it, it, it worked, actually. Not so much as an entire, but as in uh, uh, distance, uh, not distance, but speed and uh, jumping arc altering um, uh, tool, basically, I'd say. That being said, we are moving on to the BGM of Donkey Kong 3. <laughs> what am I talking about? Okay, here we go. This is a potential final uh, match set point right there for Stella, bringing it back, man. Decided to go back to Baikin, and you wonder why he decided to go with May in the first place, but Stella with the combo, man. Holy freaking lord, just keeping Hagia in the corner, and Hagia with Yabari, wake up. Gonna get a lot of juggle, goes for the grab. Hagia doesn't want to let it finish like this. Is he gonna go for it? Nope. Thought he was gonna go for Oh, he goes for the grab! We are going down to the wire, ladies and gentlemen! Illusion, good lord! <laughs> good stuff from Hagia. Last round, last match. This is going down to the wire. Who is going to take it? First draw of blood goes to Stila. Didn't quite get the 100% uh, the combo right there. Not 100%, but the, the full conversion station. But that being said, load at the corner pressure. Look at the wrist bar, man. Oh, Lord! And the entire that air to air in favor of Stella. Uh, in favor of Stella. Oh, no! The gold bears has been baited. You hate to see it. Still, I know this time around, he's in position of receiving pressure. What is it going to be? You have to hold it. You have to hold it. What are you going to do? What are you gonna do? Look at the wrist bar! Finally, as YRC gets out of the corner by the skin of his teeth, man. Okay, and we are back to the neutral. No, none of them want to really, really commit to anything. Oh, Lord! No more minions for you! Oh, but minion already back on deck. Oh, is this gonna be enough to kill? It is! Good Lord, that last combo from Hagiala with the optimization. Japanese nationals both extremely strong with their respective characters. Nage with the longest history though, the longer history, but as I have said previously, we are not, uh, we are not, um, we are not, how, how do you say this? <laughs> we might also uh, be able to see an upset as we have been in previous iteration of this tournament. That being said, DQ in life lead is uh, clearly in favor of Nage. And I think we're getting hit by the bomb. You hate to see it. We don't look at previous history exactly. But it's always good to see previous history now. And here we go with the juggle. And Nagi almost getting the wall splat for the kill. But Little Faust has been activated. And Nagi takes it with the 2k for the kill. Very nicely done. Here we go. The second battle though. And the start of the round with the 2s counter hit. I think we take the lead. Ah, going for the tick pressure and Nage not afraid to just run straight out of the corner. Get finds the opening with the 2k. Goes for the side switch. Gets anti right there with the jumping deep. That was really, really strange, but it did work, bro. So fair enough. Oh lord! And Nage man with the 6p counter hit gets the juggle, finds the opening, and doesn't even let the time to Atemu to pop the burst. Takes it a very, very, very smoothly. 1 to 0 for Nage Atemu. Down 1. It's not over till it's over, though. Let's see how this pans out. And on to the second battle. With a start of the round immediate to S counter hit. Atemu taking the lead, but getting hit by the forest counter hit. Nage does have the cavalry now. Oh, goes for the overhead. Finds it. And goes for another overhead. Finds it. And Little Faust is here to play. What are you gonna do? Atemu activating Little Faust gets hit by the oh the exploding head. Has to jump over the cavalry. And Nage just chilling at the other side of the of the chilling at the other side of the stage. Goes for the overhead yet again. Little Faust 
out of here to play and yeah this is a really looking bad i saw a meteor yep two bombs cavalry bomb wait what are you gonna do and the overhead for the kill <laughs> poor atemu has to be focused on 1000 different things and always gets hit by the overhead <laughs> i feel it my feeling i have the exact same problem when i play uh with you know so it's, it's perfectly fine Okay, and here we go with the second round of this second match. Let's see if Atemu can make something happen. But to be fair, this matchup is straight up hell for Nagori Yuki, if I might say. In my uh, very limited understanding of this matchup. But judging from what's happening right now, you can definitely see that Atemu is not having a fun time. He gets juggled by the bomb and Nagi trying to bait that burst. But Atemu not... Uh, giving it to him, and rightfully so. <laughs> Nagi finally getting hit by his own bomb and ends up catching, grabbing Atemu on his way down on the ground. And uh, Nagi taking a, a very nice lead, a 2 to 0. Is Atemu going to perform a side switch, uh, a character change? We shall see. No. Sticking to his guns, and rightfully so. Big counter hit, start of the round by Nagi. Goes for the spear, goes for another spear. Here we go, another bomb has been put. And Nage finds the opening with the 2D counter hit. That time around, Atemu did find the opening, uh, did find the, the time to get the cavalry this time around. Tries to go for the Beyblade, but what the hell happened? There was a side switch that I didn't quite process right there. But Nage finding the opening with uh, the, uh, the, the Afro. Okay, Nazemu finding finally the opening. No, and dropping the combo you hate to see. Gets six speed counter hit by Nage. And Nage again, man. Oh, that was a badly timed, uh, badly timed uh, command grab. And Atemu finally getting stuff going, but the clash goes in favor of Nage. Nage out of the corner. Goes from the wig. Here we go. It's hammer time. Wig. Cavalry. Head bomb. And Natemu getting the cavalry, wanting to force Nage on the ground. And Little Files here to play yet again. Gonna prevent Natemu from jumping out clearly. And this helps Nage just hitting him back on his way down to earth. Okay, we're on set point. What is gonna happen? Ah, okay, that makes sense. Thanks, Snoozy. Yeah. I had my I literally had my eyes off of the screen for like like a split second. I have I I could have seen from like the corner of my eye the Beyblade, but I didn't quite catch that. Yeah, Nage went for the Scarecrow. And here we go with the entire yet again by Nage, man. This, man, the multitasking is real. What are you gonna do? What are you supposed to do when you're freaking Nagori Yuki, man? It's crazy, but nice grab right there from Atemu finally getting something going. Okay, goes for the uh, corner pressure, gets the command grab. To get to force Nage to press a button, but Nage, man. Ooh! Oh, and here we go with the juggle, and they should be enough to kill. Finally, Atemu putting one round on the board. Not enough to kill, obviously. But let's see if he can uh, continue this trend and eventually seal the deal. Ah, very nice XP and gets the conversion. Atemu waking up a little bit now. Oh, nice entire right there from Atemu. Doesn't go for the Beyblade for the... Oh, the added pressure. And big Beyblade counter hit for the wall splat. Gonna get the wall break. And the 2S counter hit. Oh, Atemu trying to be cheeky. Oh, tried to go for the grab, but Nage. Oh, and the jumping D2 alter his jumping arc and make the 6P of Nage uh, with and punish him accordingly. Very nicely done. I think that grab was misinput, probably, most certainly. And uh, Atemu not going down without a fight. That's very nice to see. Here we go with the 2S from Nage. Gets hit by a counter hit Beyblade. Atemu with the knockdown. Goes for the save jump. Goes for another 6P, 6H. Jumping 6H. Uh, jumping H. I'm sorry. Oh, no entire red there from Atemu. Gets the hit by Nage on his way down to the ground. We go with the juggle using the cavalry. That was sick. And Nage breaking uh, the wall with the hammer. Nage going for... Oh, no! Nage getting hit yet again by the Beyblade counter. This did, 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 did a huge chunk of damage. Nage just, yeah, moving out of the way, moving out of Farmer's way, as rightfully so. 
I think he's very effective with jumping the sniper. Yeah, he, he is, man. He is. He's uh, it's uh, he's been really on point with it. Oh no, you hate to see it. And Atemu, man, yeah, back. This is looking very, very hard for him. Oh no, and the bomb. Oh, and the cheeky scarecrow for the surprise kill. Good stuff from Nagi, just like this Nagi is on set point. What is he gonna do? Atem san, go back to way. And Atemu forced to pop the burst already. Goes for the Beyblade counter hit. Gets a nice wall carry and wall break into Wasude Yuki. Atemu not going out without a fight. Beautiful. He's gonna get the hard knockdown. Gonna get the wall break. Where's gonna be the Oki? Oh no, he tried to go for a cheeky command grab, but Nagi was aware of it. Okay, here we go to take pressure and Nage. Ooh, getting juggled! Oh no! Atemu didn't believe in it! He thought that Nage was gonna pop the burst. You respect him too much, man. But it's okay, it's okay. It's not over till it's over. Oh, and here you go. This is your opportunity. And Atemu almost getting the kill. Ah, no. Two HS right there, but gets the kill with the standing HS. Very nicely done by Atemu. Not going down without a fight. What is he gonna do? Nice forest counter hit right there from Nage gets the knockdown. Nage going for the spear. Gets hit by the Beyblade. Force in the corner. Gets hit by the... Woo! And Atemu went for the same... No! Okay, Nage is out of the corner. And unfortunately for Atemu, his blood level is super high right now. He cannot use any special attacks. Ah, and the Meteor is here. Putting fire to that wig. And you can see Atemu definitely slowing down. He does not want to take any unnecessary risks. Oh, and here we go. Not too many bombs, man. What the hell is going on? Okay, and Atemu in uh, the corner. No, you hate to see it. Oh, nice block. Uh, but Atemu failed to, blo to, to punish accordingly. Forced to pop the burst. It's his last legs right there. He needs to be extremely careful. Close up Nage is just as dangerous as far away Nage, but I'm finding the opening. Ah, no, he couldn't get the, the trophy. Not the trophy, the trumpet. Oh, and the pop. Oh, the pop. But that being said, one hit is all that is required. And the jumping. He, no, he couldn't get the juggle. Couldn't get the juggle. One more hit. One more hit for either. No, and the jumping is for the kill by Nage. That went down to the freaking wire. <laughs> okay, cool. Could Nago even combo from that snipe? Uh, I think he could if he did a 2k and not a uh, standing S. The standing S was a little bit too uh, too slow to start up. But I think he could have juggled if he did a, uh, a 2k. But it's just me. It's just, uh, I'm, I'm just, you know, this is bro science. So I'm not even sure it would really work. But I think he could have juggled with standing K. Yeah, I think. Not quite sure though. We need to watch the replay again. That being said, here we go with the start of the round in Takari. Man, already forced about the burst. That being said, he does have the, the life lead. And Haruki going straight on Takari. And Takari with the Abari, man. The checks right there to keep Haruki in check. Very nice use of uh, the... Oh, no. Oh, that 2D, though. That was so cheeky with the cross, the fake cross under. And Haruki, ooh. Gets it, unfortunately, by Takari. Takari in prime position to... Actually take it and manages to take it with the Lens and Geki. I literally never seen that attraction. Yeah, me neither. I never seen it either. But I think he could have uh, juggled with yeah to I'm fairly certain. I think he was close enough for him to to uh, to do so. And there also was a wall bounce which made it so that uh, Nage uh, was actually going forward towards him. But he he hit the ground before the the far S actually managed to hit him. So I'm sure that 2K would have uh, standing K would have been quick enough to hit him. That being said, man, look at that guy in, man, going completely ham with the pressure. Haruki trying to make his way out of the corner. They'd find the opening. And Haruki going for the cross-up again with the grab. Forcing Takari to pop the burst. Uh, the, the YRC in. Takari taking the kill with the jumping H. Good first match by Takari. Takes uh, it 1-0. to zero. Takes one match. Puts one match on the board. Let's see what is going to happen for the second one. Okay, guys, I'm going to go real quick to uh, grab up a glass of water. We'll be right back.
Okie dokie, I'm back. And Haruki actually managing to take the second round, man. Very nice. Uh, to take the first round, the second map. Let's see if he can continue in this trend and eventually manage a comeback. Antagonic Sun with the Lens Sengeki in uh, the corner, unfortunately, gets hit by the cross up by Haruki and put ever so slightly in the corner. Very nice tech, though, by Takami. That was a nice shield, yeah. Haruki is pretty good at using the shield. Yeah, but very nice air grab right there from Takanin. Takanin using the RC to make it safe. And here we go with Takarin and the checks, man. The standing key to kill them pesky. Them pesky uh, minions, man. Second round goes to Takarin. Let me check the bracket real quick. That bracket is fine. Everything going pretty fine. Uh, everything actually going pretty smoothly today. Not going to lie. Uh, Amato is over. Oh! Amato and Roy are going to eliminate one another. That's unfortunate. I kind of wanted to see them play today, but uh, it is what it is. That being said, thank you very much. Yeah, I need to stay hydrated, man. Oh, and Takarin-san tried to go for the world, but Haruki, man, not getting hit by it. And Takarin going for the world this time around. Oh, gonna get hit on his way down to the ground. Ah, and Haruki tried to go for a cheeky, uh, well, cross up mix up, but Takarin was on point with his grab. Grab Haruki out uh grab how to keep on his way down on the ground then you go with takarin trying to push how to get in the corner gets the counter hit couldn't quite get any extension off of it though takarin very doing a really good job of just killing every single minion getting put on the stage right as they are man it's crazy how do doesn't have any like and you leave. Oh no! And Takarin with the freaking burst punish. This is definitely gonna kill. Good stuff from Takarin. Takarin already on set point, man. That was very quick. Well, wait, it's not over till it's over. If anybody can make a comeback, it's definitely Haruki. But Haruki seems a little bit annoyed. As you can see, he's playing a little bit rash right now, going for like uh, full screen runs and just lending, like. And just running into like Lensing if he's left and right. And man, Takarin looking so clean right now. Not enough to kill. And here we go with Yoret for the kill. That was a very, very, very quick. That's a very, very threatening red aura. Oh, and Shmoy, my brother from another mother. Thank you very much for the raid as always, Shmoy. It's always a pleasure to have you over at the Brojo Cup. You and your community as well. Hello guys and welcome back. Chances are that if you have been on Smoive's stream, you probably already know who I am. This is SDN Clan hosting the Brojo Cup. It is a real pleasure uh, of having you guys over each and every time. Much appreciated, much love. I hope Smoib have had a crazy good stream. I hope you did, uh, by the way, Smoib. I hope you're back on, uh, on Guilty Gear as well because apparently you've been... Uh, You've been slacking off a little bit, no? You've been not playing Guilty Gear a bit. But anyways, if you didn't, it's perfectly fine. I'm sure that the uh, the fire... So, uh, I did have a crazy good stream. That's very good to hear, man. Uh, that's that's all That's all I can wish for you, man. That's really really good. And thank you very much for uh, for uh, who snitched. I just I just go on your stream sometimes, man. I actually watch you. I'm a lurker, though. I don't tend to, like, chat a lot. But I do lurk on your stream sometimes. And I can see that you're not necessarily playing guilty gear you tend to play like uh, smash a little bit more often that's my impression i have but anyways i hope that the, the flame of interest for the game is going to uh, come back to you eventually but anyways thank you again man you like games yeah perfect that's 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 all i needed to hear man that's perfect as, as long as you have a good time and that's the best that's all i can wish for you but yeah man thanks again for the raid as always it's always a pleasure to have you here and your community as well subtitle yes subtitle indeed <laughs> Oh, do I have subtitles on my stream? I forgot if I act. Oh, I do have subtitles on my stream. Ah, this is crazy, man. Technology. Technology, man. Always kind of this tournament is epic. This is perfect. I love it when you say stuff like this. And just as I say this, we currently have RF on the screen. RF rocking that mean Faust against none other than Xiri, Chinese individual who plays extremely good with Mei. That being said, he is getting mixed the life out of him right now by RF who is going for a wall break and thank you very much for all of your follows guys by the way there were so many that I had 
kind of a hard time to uh, keep uh, track of them. Oh, okay. Thank you very much, Zane for the follow, and uh, thank you very much, Goodster, for the follow, and welcome to the Burjos. That being said, look at this. Oh, I failed to get the killing combo right there because of the cavalry, by the way, which is kind of ironic. But Zuri not out of this yet, but gets hit by Wake Up Standing Fiabari by RF. First match goes to him. Quite convincingly, not going to lie, but I mean, Xir is very strong. He's a very strong May player. It wouldn't surprise me if he finds a way uh, to. Oh, even the odds, unfortunately, gets hit by the cross up Scarecrow using the Meteor to pin the enemy down. And here we go with the full combo from RF. Gonna get another Meteor, by the way. This time around, decides not to go for the side switch to mix things up a little bit, if I might say. And RF gonna get the wall break. Not enough to kill, though. I simply have no words. Yeah, that match, man. It's explosive, but yeah, RF is definitely taking the lead when it comes to uh, to momentum and not going to lie. So many Faust representation, man, which is always great. I like Faust. It's a very fun uh, character to commentate, especially during tournaments. So yeah, definitely, I, I love this character. That being said, here we go with the juggle. Xeri fails to get the optimization station, the conversion, but that being said, he does have the corner positioning, but RF finds his way out of it using the jumping dive kick. Well, just the dive kick because obviously if you're doing a dive kick, you are jumping. Uh, that being said, we are back in the neutral and Xeri trying to, uh, trying to make his way towards RF to close the distance, but RF doing such a good job of keeping him out. That being said, Xeri with the corner pressure. This is his uh, moment to shine, wants to keep RF in the corner, goes for the knockdown. And Xeri, man, with the relentless pressure. Very nice block, though, on this overhead. Tries to get the trumpet, but RF, man, keeping him out, forcing him to endure pressure. Wow, and that instant block. That could have went a very bad... Oh! And that pickup! Are you serious? I didn't even know it was possible. And just like this, Xeri. Xeri, man, just saves it, clutches it out. Let's see if he can win this third round to finally put one on the board and even the odds. Oh, and unfortunately, Xeri landing straight on a little Faust, activating him and hitting him, incidentally, on spot. Oh, and Xeri getting hit by the standing S counter. Oh, and then the quick dust Roman cancel. RF going to get that wall break. He wants that positive bonus. Oh, nice block from Xeri, but gets hit by the entire... Uh, his life is, is... Yeah, his life hanging by a thread. What is Xeri going to do? Gets hit by the mix, mix, mix for the kill. Okay, RF up 2-0. to zero. What is Xeri going to do? On the verge of getting sent to the loser's bracket. He doesn't have much choice anymore. And here, finally, Xeri getting the 2S counter hit, but unfortunately slips on the banana, which definitely killed his momentum. RF going for the bomb pressure, forcing Xeri to uh, block, respect his offense. Xeri again landing straight on Little Faust, that pesky little ruffian. <laughs> ruffian? You say ruffian? Ruffian? Ah, anyways, that, that pesky little pest. <laughs> And here we go with RF with the added pressure using the Mix 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 combined with the RC pressure and Xeri fetching that burst, man! Baiting it out, getting a full clean combo, doesn't quite get the wall splat. But RF man with the blocks and the Abare gets his turn back, but Xeri with me Oh no! And Totsugeki getting Totsugeki, no, no, you cannot hit this person while he has his spear out. Good stuff by RF. Shows us his master of Faust. Oh, good lord. Xeri really getting annoyed, but he gets a clean 2 HS counter. Look at the damage. Look at the damage. Look at the damage. Ah, guilty gear. <laughs> good lord. That damage is ungodly. That was crazy, man. Ah, guilty gear. <laughs> But it's not over if RF manages to clutch it out. That would be crazy. I'm not gonna lie. Fortunately, oh, Xeri landing straight on the hammer, man. Okay, no. Oh, no. Punish on that. You hate to see it. Oh, okay, here we go. Finally, Xeri with the Abari finally manages to clutch it out. 
Ah, oh, that damage was ungodly. It was crazy, man. Okay, and here we go back to RF, getting that mix, mix, mix juggle. Ah, <laughs> guilty gear. This yo san. Akirakani. Well, kakujitsu ni guilty gear. This. But here we go with RF and the command grab. He's gonna get the double overhead, forcing Xiri to pop the burst. Okay, uh, Xiri landing straight on the 2K. You hate to see it. Okay, back to the neutral. Xiri trying to make his way out of the corner. RF using the burst to keep him in the corner, and this should do. Good stuff from RF. Takes it a clean. Oh, he dark Nick reverses Takari. Oops, let me update the flag from Takari. He might take it, uh, Man, not good if I don't. Okay, here we go. That's better. So, of so South Korea sense, versus Japan. Let's see how this pans out. Oni oh, Dark Necro, the best Nagoriyuki player by far in South Korea against Takarin, the best Axel player in Japan. A match of very, a uh, very, very um, hype matchup, if I might say. You don't get to see it uh, very often, so please take your seats and enjoy this uh, freaking spectacle that is going to unfold in front of us. And here we go with Takarin getting the knockdown already at the start of the match. So any Dark Necro trying to make his way towards him. Okay, no entire right there. Well, Dark Necro trying to entire Takarin, but unfortunately Takarin crossed him up and therefore the 6p did not reach his uh, intended target again dark necro trying to fight his way out of the corner but gonna get entired by d2hs first round goes to takarin what is dark necro gonna do very nice air to air grab by takarin manages to put dark necro in the corner dark necro going for the quick fukio follow-up into the grab Tried to get that command grab, but Takarin was uh, way too on point for that to happen. Takarin getting the counter hit to S, man. Oh, oh! And here we go with uh, finally Dark Necro pushing Takarin in the corner. Gets the jumping counter hit, forces Takarin to pop the burst. Takarin again with the 2 HS checks, man. And uh, by the way, ah, Paisley Mamiske, eh, cheers to you, thank you very much, to you, eh, ma, contest to you, thank you very much. And here we go with Dark Negro, man, we're getting entired, left and right, Takarin really trying to seal the deal and goes for a run-up grab for the kill. First match goes to Takarin very, very, very quickly, actually. But that being said, this matchup is definitely not the easiest for Nagoyuki, not his favorite matchup in the... So let's see if only Dark Necro can seal the deal or not. We shall see. Oh, good lord. Yo, Tiger Pop, welcome back, man. How are you doing? Oh, and uh, GG's for your performance during the mix-up, was it? Fourth place, I think? That was pretty nice, man. Good stuff, good stuff. It was the mix-up, right? If I'm uh, if I'm correct. That being said, here we go with uh, the uh, with the jump in by Dark Necro. He's going to get a full combo in the corner. Going to get the wall break. Good stuff, good stuff, Tiger Pop, man. But you'll get him next time, I'm sure of it. You have all the time in the world to uh, to get your head back into the game. Now, to be fair, you did say that you were a little bit stressed and a little bit... Uh, I, I, you felt pressure, if I'm correct. I, I read your tweet, so... Next time, you'll get him next time, man. Yeah. It's fine. And when you Dark Necro with the blood explosion, goes straight for the jump in. Doesn't let Takarin do anything. No! No, here we go with the 6 speed counter and for the kill. You're welcome, man. You're welcome, you're welcome. And here we go with uh, the second round with again Takarin going straight for the aerial grab. Okay, Dark Necro jumping out of the pressure, going for the juggle and the corner carry combo. He goes for the fake out out of the clone into uh, instant air. Uh, air <laughs> what am I talking about? Instant command grab. Okay, Takarin catching them jump frames with the Lin Sengeki. Lord, air Dark Necro in the house, yo! And Dark Necro still hanging on to his burst, does not want to give it to Takarin for free. I never played JoJo, yeah. Yeah, the, the music is pretty cool. <laughs> it's pretty cool. I actually never played it either. I do add some music that uh, from game fighting games that I didn't necessarily play, but that I enjoyed the BGM. So yeah, I see that uh, I see that you have a you have a very good taste, Smoothie. That's good. Anyways, here we go with uh, the 
pressure from Takarian Man trying to push Dark Decker ever so slightly into the corner and fight his way out of it. Oh, but Takarian with the standing S counter hit and the Lensengeki to keep Dark Necro in check, man. Oh, and the air to air, man. Dark Necro definitely having some problems trying to make his way towards Sakarin. Oh, and Dark Necro with air Dark Necro yet again. Uh oh. Sakarin, man. Oh, gets hit by the 2S counter and gets again hit. His backdash hit by the jumping HS, uh, by the far HS. Ooh, and Takarin just freaking running to the other side of the stage, bro. Oh, only Dark Negro going for a Dark Negro again. Gets grabbed, and this should do. Damn, Takarin on point, man. Dark Negro definitely seems in a very, in quite the pickle. <laughs> I listened to some songs from here. There, I really love how Akira Otoshi, the RHCP user, has actual RHCP baseline, baseline, baseline. Uh, in his team's yeah. Now the 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 game has actual good music actually. Well, depending on which track you're talking about, but this one was definitely fire. I actually love it a lot, which is the reason why I have it in my backup list. <laughs> but usually, if you're on Brojo Cup, you're gonna like the if you like fighting games and and you like yeah, if you like m fighting games and fighting in music, I I'm pretty sure I'm like 98% sure you're gonna like uh, the Brojo Cup because I. I almost exclusively only have like good fighting games uh, music, so yeah, you're definitely bound to find your uh, uh, your haven here. Yeah. Anyways, that being said, with Dark Negro trying to get the combat, gonna get the fun. Ooh, or not actually? Yeah, Takanin using the second hit, uh, the second uh, tension bar in order to make his. Uh, wow, look at this! Look at this! This is so threatening, man! The way that Dark Negro just uh, advanced, that was so threatening! <laughs> Good lord! Oh, if I did highlights again, I would definitely keep that particular segment in. That was so sick! I can do it in, I can put the highlights in uh, my top animated top 8 um, video. I'm gonna do it, I think. That was sick, that was so threatening. Anyways, here we go. Uh, back to the match, and Dark Necro already on the verge of getting three bars of blood completely filled, trying to make his way towards Sakanin, but Sakanin, man, won't let up at all, pushing Dark Necro ever so slightly in the corner. Yeah, you can see yeah, Dark Necro taking a lot of damage, just trying to get in. Yeah, this is not easy, man. This is not easy. Ah, here we go, the jumping, but again, Takarin with... Oh, Lord! And he still gets the entry with Air Dark Necro, man. Mm. Ah, here we go, the grab this time around. Dark Necro was on point with the grab tech. Ah, uh, thank you, Kain. Music is very good here. I talked about Jojo because I heard familiar tracks. That's cool, man. That's cool. Ah, yeah, and this is the kill. Damn, just like this, Takarin on the verge, on match point, actually. What is Dark Necro gonna do? Oh, finally Dark Negro getting that aerial grab. Gonna get the counter hit on the 2S for the juggle. Finally stuff starting to go in Dark Negro's way. <laughs> Goes for the double Fukio into the grab. Of course, why not? Ah, nice stuff from... Nice block by Takarin, not getting hit by the quick dust. And Takarin finding the opening with the 2 k TD. Air Dark Negro back in the house and finally... Finally, Dark Negro putting one on the board after so much effort. <laughs> Good stuff from him. Okay, so let's see if Takarin can seal the deal or Dark Negro manages to uh, perform a, a comeback. We shall see. Again, we go with Dark Negro. Already his face in the corner. Pushed by the Lensengeki. Takarin with the 2k checks to prevent Fukio advances from Dark Negro. Oh, Lord. And, oh no, no entire right there from Dark Necro. Oh, Dark Necro getting hit by the 2HS counter hit. Oh, or <laughs> Air Dark Necro back in the house here. Yeah, but this is gonna be dead. Yeah. This is okay, okay. Good stuff from Takarin on match point. Is Dark Necro gonna be able to make the comeback? This seems a little bit hard, not going to lie. The matchup is definitely not in favor of Nagoriyuki. And uh, not only that, but Takarin is like next level as well, so it's all the more difficult. To oh, nice juggle right there from Dark Negro. Gonna force Takarin to pop the burst. Get Takarin with the far S, man. Uh, 
what is gonna happen. Here we go, the Linsen Geek Explosion. Duck Necro taking his time. Not wanting to overcommit, gets hit on his Fukio by the two HS. Very nice air to grab, air to air grab by Takani, man. Takarin getting hit by the standing HS though, and they, oh, Air Dark Negro getting hit by the 6 HS from Takarin. And just like this, Takarin sends shit the fact that he lost the Faust Mirror. So let's see how this pans up this time around. So RF versus Nage, two of the best Fausts in Japan currently. Going to duke it out on this tournament right here, right now, only on the Brojo Cup. Let's see who is going to take it. And so Nage is rocking the pink Faust Raz, Arf is rocking that, uh, the, the gray, I suppose, gray Faust. Who is going to take it? We shall see. Nage going for the knockdown, unfortunately get hit, gets hit by his own weight. That being said, he goes for the wake up of Bari and managed to take it back, but Arf with the entire pins Nage in the corner. Nage finds his way out using the very, very mobile abilities of Faust. That being said, RF looking pretty good, but gets hit by the dive kick from Nage. RF with the checks, tried to push uh, Nage in the corner, but Nage did have a burst in order to make it safe. Oh, very nice conversion station right there from RF. And here we go with the dive kick from RF for the kill. Uh, it's bracketed with uh, a seat. My dear friend, here you go. And here we go, the clash from both players. <laughs> Lord. And the trade on the spear. <laughs> and both using the, <laughs> the scarecrow at the same time. Nage does have the advantage this time around. He's gonna get the corner carry. And here we go, the close S counter hit. Goes straight into the overdrive. This is gonna be a big, big, big damage time for Nage. He's gonna get the hard knockdown. And here we go with the jump in by Nage. Oh lord, tried to go for the entire, but the mix 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 was a little bit too high. And RF getting that wall splat into wall break. <laughs> Dive kick galore. And this time around, RF clutches it out, takes the lead 1 to 0. Let's see if Nage can. Find some sort of adjustment in order to shift the tide of battle. Okay, start of the match. Now you're trying to go for the uh, sweep, but RF guarded, blocked adequately, and Nage with the bomb juggle, forcing RF to pop the burst. <laughs> the big ping pong man. Oh! Nage with the freaking spear, and he also gets the conversion with the bomb. That was sick. Here we go with the. Uh, dive kick, counter hit. Nage with the side switch using the Scarecrow and the Forest for the kill. Finally, Nage waking up. Let's see if he can manage to keep that. Oh! That freaking momentum. RF with the command grab. Gonna get the, the bomb juggle. Yes, he is. Oh! A little bit too late to get it though. But still okay. Back in neutral. Nage with the jump in. Actually, the, um, the dive kick in. Ah, oh, RF man with the reaction station gonna get the freaking spear with the RC extension into the corner carry. The weight here preventing Nage from completely backing off from uh, backdashing. Nice block on the overhead by RF by the way. Here we go with the sweep by Nage. Nage on. Ah, the ridge of losing it and losing it. it. 2 a, a bomb RF. Putting one round on the board. Oh, and a huge overhead counter hit by Nage, man. This did a lot of damage. Nage resorting to using the cavalry to apply pressure. Goes for the 6p counter hit. And rightfully so. RF again with the dive kick, man. Oh, that was sick. And Nage with the cavalry, knowing that RF might go for a grab in order to not get hit by the cavalry animation. Due to the invincibility for oh lord what you can do i can do better nage getting the kill with the bomb juggle here we go one match a piece we have a tie who is gonna take this third match we shall see in a couple of seconds Let's 
And here we go with the start of the third round. Naga getting that command grab. Pushing RF in the corner. Ah, and RF again with the checks, man. It's been working so good for him. RF going for the side switch using the... Oh, actually, no, going for the fixed side switch using the Meteor. And Naga getting hit by it. Woo! Both opponents definitely know each other's tendencies. Or at least knows their own characters very, very well. Well enough to really understand how... Uh, the, the mirror matches goes. Very nice 6 counter hit right there from Nage. Nage. Oh, wow! That punish on the freaking... On the Scarecrow is sick, man! Just walking out of the uh, Scarecrow range and then punishing Nage on his way down. That was sick! And RF again with the... Uh, with the dive kick for the kill. Very nicely done. Okay, and on to the second round. No! Oh! Nagi with the overhead. No one's home though. Oh, goes for the 2S counter hit. Nagi gonna get the corner pressure. Goes for the command grab. Using the threat of the cavalry to pin RF in the spot, on spot. Can okay, RF this time around. Exerting pressure. Oh, getting scooped by the jumping S from RF and RF with the 6P counter hit. Try to beat the burst, but RF being very, very respectful does not want to pop it out. Double spear for the wall break. Ah, oh, the standing kick goes so far. And RF going, uh, and Nage going for the command grab for the kill, not command grab, the, with the grab for the kill. On to the third, the final round of this uh, third match, man. Things are so freaking tight. This is crazy, man. Neither one of them wants to lose, obviously. But Nage getting hit by the spear of RF. RF using this opportunity to push Nage in the corner. No entire... Ah, RF again with the Abari, man. It's been working so good for him. RF with the Mix Mix Mix. Goes for the low this time around. Gonna get the wall break. Gotta see how this spins out. And RF with the dive kick. The dive kick for the kill. RF taking the lead, 2-1. to one. Nagi in Dire Strait, what is he gonna do? We are seeing a reenactment of the previous time these two have fought each other, man. Especially since last time, um, well, RF actually uh, managed to take it. Nagi taking the time, I'm sure, on the restart, on the, on the replay screen in order to really collect himself and try to find um, a strategy to try to fend RF off. Let's see how this spins out. This one's again, guy. And here we go with Nage, man. With the juggle, he's gonna get the wall break for the kill. Oh, and here we go with Nagi and the mix, mix, mix for the kill. Okay, Nagi looking very good during this, this this round. Let's see if he can keep things up. This went entirely into Nagi's favor. Goes for the spear. And the 6P reaction. 6P on the dive attempt from RF. Definitely seeing that RF definitely likes to go for that, uh, that what's called the, um, for the, uh, the dive kick a lot. Air to air in favor of RF. <laughs> the 6 speed battle, man. And the check from Nage because Arf didn't have any bar in order to make his uh, mix, mix, mix safe. Nage going for the command grab. Gonna light that wig up. The wig is on fire. And Nage for the kill with the closest. Puts one on the board. We have... We're, it's going down to the wire, guys. There's no, no other way. There is no other way. It's going down to the final round of the final match. I can guarantee you. <laughs> Oh lord, these two definitely neither neither of them wants to lose obviously, but man, look look at them, they're taking their time on the re replay, the restart screen, man. So 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 crazy. Let's see how this spins out. NRF with the dive kick counter hit. Who's gonna take uh ah, the cavalry? It is Nage. And Nage with the weights. Hits RF on his way down. And no entire, but you know, actually entire here, but RF didn't commit. Oh no, and RF! Going to fish, going to lure, going to spear, 
And now I came in with the closest counter hit juggle with the mix mix mix. He's gonna get the corner pressure with little Faust. Got the hammer. Going for the mix 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 extension. Go for the low. But man, Nage with the six speed that he's been on point with them, man. Just like this, Nage on match point. Or I'm definitely looking lost right there. What he's gonna do? Okay. That is a pretty interesting mirror, not gonna lie. It's going down to the wire. But here we go with the standing K by Nage to prevent RF from dive kicking. Nice with punish from RF with the 2S. Oh lord! Oh no! Okay, still okay with not a lot of damage, all things considered. And RF going with the dive kick to fetch that cavalry. Okay, that being said, Nugget does have the corner positioning and hits RF, man, with the fake cross up. Oh, and this should do. Yes, it is gonna do. Nage clutching it out. Last time RF actually managed to take it, but this time, like you might have like really crappy items with Faust, but the way that you use them as a Faust player, knowing what to do in what particular types of situation that you get that type of item, that makes you as a Faust player, uh, that, that defines your strength as a Faust player, I guess. The way that your profici proficiency at using uh, items at the correct timing. Well, yeah, yeah, that, that, that's basically what I think. But yeah, definitely. Anyways, that being said, we are back to uh, the tournament. It's going to be none other than Haruki versus Roy Soul. Both players, masters of their respective characters. Both players did very good at previous iterations of the Brojo Cup. And that being said, Haruki, man, already off on a very, very strong performance right there. Takes the first round extremely, extremely convincingly. Roy will definitely have to bring some sort of adjustment to his game plan if he wants to seal the deal. Okay, and Roy getting hit by the minion hit to sear it. And already Haruki, man. Haruki doesn't have any time to lose. He wants to make his way back in. Uh, yeah, deeper in the brackets. And Roy uh, tried to go for a grab, but the time badly timed one at that and. Roy taking this opportunity to shift the momentum, drops the combo unfortunately, goes for a quick low right after a bended bringer. Oh! But that being said, Roy force about the burst and Haruki on point with the whiff punish. Try to go for the juggle and the 6p counter hit. Oh, that being said, no entire right there. Okay, and Haruki going ever very, very slow, doesn't want to overcommit and goes for the quick dust for the kill. Quick first match for how to keep this one on the board. That was really, really quick, man. Okay, now on to the second match. Let's see who, how this is going to unfold. Okay, and Roy getting rid of Dominion right away. How to keep hanging, uh, hanging on to his burst, doesn't want to overcommit. Ah, he might burst right there, though. And no burst, actually, from Haruki. Probably afraid that Roy was going to bait it out. That being said, we go with Roy going for the grab. Haruki does have one. Ah, Haruki popping the burst, but look at the health deficit right there. It's definitely not out of the, out of the realm of possibility for Haruki to make a comeback, but it seems a little bit unlikely. But the more I see, the more I believe. Oh, Haruki going for the loop, the ground, the, the wall bounce loop, man. Very nicely done. Oh no, and the freak, what you got? Oh no, not like this. And Roy, man, losing all of his hard earned effort right at the end of this match, uh, right at the end of this round, man. And Haruki again with the lead, trying to keep Roy in the corner. And oh no, Haruki getting entire by Roy. Roy out of the corner this time around. Nice check though by Haruki, gonna force Roy to pop the burst and the cross up, man. That was so cheeky from Haruki. Gonna get probably the kill with the overdrive. Illusion driver. Nope, not enough to kill, but Haruki does have the extension station. Not enough too far to get the wall break though. But it's still okay. Minion for the kill. Haruki takes the lead. Quite uh, quite a uh, very nice lead, by the way. 2-0. Let's see if Roy can bring it back. And here we go again with the freaking minion juggle, man. Nice 2k to the from Haruki. Gonna get the, uh, the the counter hit and the juggle forcing Roy Sol to pop the burst. 
Oh, here we go with the jump in by Roy Saul forcing out his teeth to pop the burst this time around. And Roy trying to make his way towards Aoruki, but yeah. Haruki right now trying to control the neutral. Gets however far is counter hit. And Roy going for the extension combo. Drops it! Unfortunately, eh, but it's still okay. Gets the forest counter hit for the kill. Okay, finally, things are looking pretty good for Roy. Let's see if he can continue this trend. Okay, using the... Oh, Lord, almost got that vortex, though. Nice to his check right there, counter hit. Rum Roy still gonna get a little bit of a corner carry. Not Nothing too fancy. No anti right there. Here we go with the jump in, man. Haruki not on point with the 6 speed this time around. We go with the Fafnir and Roy going for the reset. Oh, and the gold burst has been baited. Good stuff by Roy. Puts one on the board as well. One match apiece. This is a tie. Let's see how this spins out. Okie dokie, present Cookie. Here we go with the... Oh, no, and the Vortex. Vortex going underneath the minion. And Roy Soul with the take a throw, man. Doesn't want to give Haruki a single second to try to get out of this pressure. And here we go with the Volcanic Viper and Haruki's life hanging by a thread. This might not be a good idea to burst at that particular instance, but it's not over till it's over. Here we go with the cross up. Haruki trying to build the momentum. Wow. Little minion, here we go with the grab again. Haruki wants that burst. Roy will probably not try to give it to him unless he's in life threatening situation. Oh, and the 5 8. Oh, no, not like this. Is, oh, but Haruki drops it. Haruki drops it and gets hit by the standing K on his way to do a quick dust. Nice check by Roy, man. That was very nicely done. That was life or death right there. Roy was on the verge of getting like set points right there, so. That was really, really, really clutch. Good stuff by Roy. Nice decision making. A, a decision that really requires like cojones right there. Anyways, here we go, the forest. And the check by Haruki, man. Good for S by Haruki. Gets the counter hit and gonna get the kill. And just like this, we are on set point. Is Roy going to get eliminated from this tournament or is he gonna perform a comeback? Uh, and the minions are back on the board. Nice with punish from Roy. Was for the forest, man. Finds the opening. Oh, wow. That was a mistime. Uh, forest, but it worked out in his favor in the end. Oh, and that success counter. Uh, the success, man. Confirm, and this should be able to kill. Yeah, boom. Get out of here. Okay, Roy, even, evening the odds. Two matches apiece. We have a tie, ladies and gentlemen. Very nicely done. Okay, and on to the last match of this set. Roy with the 2S counter hit. Gonna get the corner carry. Look at the damage. Okay, nice check right there from Roy. Goes for the follow-up of the revolver, uh, the, the bended revolver. Oh, Lord, and lands right in front of Haruki for a punish. Goes for the reset again using the wild throw, man. Oh, Lord. The bar is real. The, the freaking Unga Bunga is real. Royal on set point turned the tables around. How the turns have tabled. But that being said, Haruki with uh, the burst bait. A burst bait or probably an uh, unwanted burst from Roy. And how he can find his way out of the corner. No anti-air. Oh, Lord, Roy with the cheeky. Oh, no. I think this is going to win. Oh, it's not. Haruki with the wake of freaking overdrive. Oh, no, and the freaking vortex. Wait, 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 wait. No. Haruki with the unfortunately time burst. And just like this. Usuishikarui Buri. Usuishikarui Buri. Okay. Usui Shikari Buri. Usui Usui. Gonna call him Usui anyway. So Usui rocking that brisket versus I'm help. I'm gonna make his name a little bit less long. If you, uh... Usui Shika. Usui Usui. Okay. Usui. 
Yeah, that's gonna be a little bit easier. So Usui versus uh, I'm Help. Let's see how this pans out. Usui already, uh, I'm Help already forcing Usui to pop the burst. Ah, very nice ultra performance from I'm Help, trying to extend uh, the pressure. But here we go with the DP from Usui, man. Ah, no. Yeah, Usui using the fall down from the teddy bear to alter his lending timing. Ah, very nice for HS from Usui. Gonna get a counter hit and force I'm Help to pop the burst. Nice air to air. Jumping S for Musui, gonna get the juggle, and this should be enough to kill. Oh, wow, and then the extension station from Musui, man. Good stuff. Holy lord, take the first round very convincingly. Good stuff. And here we go with the air to air by Usui. Goes for the Dolo this time around, gonna get the juggle in the corner. Goes for uh, the pressure. He goes, oh, what was that? Was that intentional? That's sick. But this time around, it's I'm Helps he Time. To apply pressure. Okay, and Usui is out of the corner. That being said, I'm help uses the jump, uh, the aerial grab to put him right, to put him right back in the corner. Gets the wall break. Oh lord! Catches the back dash with the 2k into the 6 HS for the killing combo. Very nicely done by I'm help. Okay, both players have one round apiece. Susui with the reaction grab right here. Goes for the jumping D. But I'm help. His defense is pretty good. Oh, nice punish on the Sultry performance. Okay, here we go with Usui with the yo yo throw. Gonna get the corner combo. Goes for the extension station. Goes for the. Rock the baby! And this should be the kill. Good stuff by Usui. Takes the lead 1 to 0. Let's see how this pans out. Is I'm Help going to be able to uh, make a comeback? We shall see. Okie dokie, on to the second match. What is I'm Help gonna do? Very nice 6 speed right there. Entire from my Help. Gonna put Usui in the corner. Usui makes his way out of the corner. Very clutch right there. Ah, uh, no aerial grab for Usui. Look at the defense though for Usui, not gonna lie. Goes for the jumping D4 to delay his landing timing. A nice back dash. Couldn't quite get the knockdown though. 6 p for the entire and the juggle. Ah, uh, try to go for the, uh, the, the uh, rock the baby. Push a little bit too far for... A little bit too high in the air in order to catch his opponent out. Or maybe try to read a jump out from I'm Help, which would make sense. Okie dokie, here we go with uh, the no pressure from I'm Help, unfortunately. Ends up cornering himself in the process. Nice jump out from Usui, goes for a cheeky throw reset. Okay, here we go with Rock the Baby, but I'm Help with the jump back reaction. Very nicely done. Oh lord, and this should do, man, the use of the area, the, the, how do you call this, the, 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 the motorcycle, the, the fire, the fire motorcycle from, uh, from Usu has been really pristine, and he's been able to, um, to get juggles off of it very, very consistently. Anyways, here we go with Usui, man, going for the fake outs, trying to bait normals from I'm Help, but I'm Help did have a... Knocked down, but unfortunately missed time. His median got grabbed in, um, in the process. Lucy going ham man in the corner. Ah, goes for the clutch plus on block. Ro uh, roller skates. Finally, Lucy forced to pop the burst. <laughs> I'm help. I'm help. Really trying to pin Lucy on the ground and force him not to move anymore. Oh, and that check, man. The check from IM help was really nicely done. Goes for the load this time around, and the air grab. Return of the killing machine. Yeah, here you go, yeah, that was it. Good stuff from IM help. Puts one round on the board. Killing in the name of... Okay, and here we go with the 2S. Forcing IM help to pop the burst. But the defense of Wusui has been super good, man. IM help has a lot of problems trying to open him up. 
Oh, okay, and here we go with the 6P, man, and the juggle. This is going for the grab. And here we go, this is YOLO land. This is going for the overdrive. This should kill. Yes, it is. This is with the lead 2-0 to zero and the perfect nevertheless, man. On the verge of eliminating I'm Help. What is going to be I'm Help's answer? We shall see. Nice 2HS right there, but I'm Help didn't commit to any uh, aerial attack. So I ended up blocking it. And here we go with the double stroke by M Help, man. Trying to find the openings, but yeah, Lucy has been really on point, man. It's crazy. Okay, and here we go with the low by Usi going for the RC extension, wanting to get that damage. Here we go with the jumping by M Help. Gonna get the knockdown, goes for the note. Was for the low, he tried to read the burst from I'm Help, but I'm Help, the defense has been on point. I'm Help popping the YRC though. Oh, gets the jump in, and this should be able to kill. The killing machine, let's go. We are on set point, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Help in a very dire straight, not going to lie. Wow, nice for S counter hit. But a badly timed landing right there made it so that Usu was able to grab I'm Help out of his landing sequence. Nice over. I'm Help uh, trying to go for the clutch setups. Here you go with the low. Uh. Okay, and here we go. With, oh, nice whip on it from I'm Help, but gets jumped in on with the jumping S counter hit. Usu with the. Ah, uh, conversion station. No, too late. This was probably um, input error, by the way. He probably wanted the overdrive. Oh, Lord, Roger. Save me. Oh, no. And you see going for the quick Roman cancel into the All right, versus Roy. Let's see how this fans out. I've never seen these two play against each other. So if we're looking forward to see how this will pan out, we shall see. Okie dokie, bread and cookie. Here we go. This is the third match of the loser's bracket. Immediate start of the round of Roy using the bandit revolver. Here we go with RF with the chicks. RF with the 4K, man. Look at this, man. The 4K. Oh, this is probably because of the weight. It was definitely because of the weight. And here we go with RF using the spear. Trying to catch Roy running in his direction. Are going with the OTG overhead. Oh no! Roy has the trumpet. Gonna get for gonna go for the extension and the juggle. Oh lord, thought it was your turn. It wasn't. Here we go with the wall break by Roy. Taking the lead. Elroy should be able to get the juggle and he does. Roy takes the first round. What is gonna be the answer of RF we shall see? Gunflame, Gunflame again. Nice checks from RF man, trying to get out of the corner so much. That being said, he does have the Meteor. This time around, Roy's put in the corner. Ah, hit by his own weight. You hate to see it. Okay, and here we go with the corner carry by RF. Goes for the RC extension, and Roy probably gonna let him take this one. Gonna secure his burst for the following round just in case and here we go with the take pressure from Roy gets hit by the forest of RF RF out of the corner forces Roy to pop the burst we go with Roy popping the bandit bringer and the forest man from RF man ah checking these advancements from Roy <laughs> Bates the burst and look at the quarter. Look at the freaking optimization combo, man. And RF clutches it out. Takes the first match. 1 to 0 so far. Let's see if uh, Roy can bring the momentum back. We shall see. Okay, okay. And on to the second match. We'll go with the trade. Still, Roy down a little bit down in life, but still. Fine, he has his burst. Ah, and Roy running straight into a hammer. You hate to see it. Ah, 
We're forcing Orph to pop the burst. Oh lord, what was that? If that juggle happened, it would have been so funny though. Okay, and Roy making his way out of the corner. Gets the corner combo into the wall break. Or if, ah, or if definitely looked for that gun flame, immediately resorts to using the Scarecrow to teleport right next to Roy and then punish him and win the match. As a result, here we go with the forest counter hit. Hate to see it. Take throw from Marisol, goes for the... Oh lord, the empty throw, man, the empty throw. Again with the throw, man. Roy definitely not liking how RF is treating him currently. That being said, here we go, Roy finally manages to take this round. And on to the third match, the third round. Very nice uh, whip punish forest right there from Roy. Or if using the explosion of the bomb to keep pressure going. Back in neutral, man. Both swinging left and right. Trying to whip punish each other. But Roy does have his opponent in the corner. Here we go with the counter hit. This is going to do a lot of damage, by the way. Look at the damage. Ah, Guilty Gear. Ah. Ah, Guilty Gear. Finally, Roy forced pop the burst. Definitely wants this one. A little bit too far to have the revolver to have the revolver hit, unfortunately for him. But the far is a little bit too far to get the continuation combo. Oh, yeah, Orif in Dire Straits, man. Here we go with Roy Saw. He tried to go for the wild throw. I know it. I'm 100 percent sure. Knife with punish yet again by Orif. Trying to push Roy out. And this time in. Here you go to Forest. I forced to pop the burst. And the Forest for the kill. Roy puts one on the board. Very nicely done by Roy. Okay. Look how this spins out. Down to the third match. And back to the neutral. Yeah, Roy swinging them Forest, man. But Arif doing a bit, a uh, very good job of whiff punishing at every single time. Well, every single opportunity. Little Faust came out to play. Will Roy entertain him? Ah, that was an unfortunate vortex. He side switch himself, unfortunately. There we go. Godsend banana right there to <laughs> to prevent Roy from ah running towards RF. Almost got the juggle with the bomb, by the way. And nice conversion though from Orif. Ended up uh, dropping the combo though, unfortunately. But it's okay, Rico would wake up a bar by Orif. Orif clutching it out. Here we go, start the round with the bandit again from Roy, man. He's been working really, really much in his favor. Orif reading the grab attempt, jumps out and lands on top of Roy with a counter hit. Ah, and little Faust man here to save his father. Okay, and here we go. Roy should get the trumpet. Yes, he did. But he gets hit by the meteor nevertheless. That's still okay. All things considered, uh, Pain City is right around the corner. Roy gonna get the wall break. <laughs> and Roy with the Kaitech, man. Running full screen just to grab. <laughs> okay, good stuff from Roy. Evens it out. Okay, RF reading the round sword revolver this time around. Punishes it accordingly. Okay, here we go with the spear by RF. Goes for the extension combo. This is going to do some good damage. In addition to getting the wall carry. But that being said, Roy already popping the burst. Well, he doesn't really have much worse. And you're good to throw loops. Ah, Lord and Roy, man. Roy beating that freaking burst. Not enough to kill, though. But it definitely even evened stuff out. And this time around, Roy going for the low. Roy taking the lead. Two to one, man. Good stuff. Okay, guys, I'm going to take a real quick uh, 
I I'm gonna go drink some water real quick. Be right back. The corner pressure from Roy and the closest counter hit. This is going to do a lot of damage. Roy going for Tyron. Ray! For the wall break and the bar knockdown. Yeah, oh, and the bar from RF, man. Finds the opening with the mix, mix, mix. Ah, and the bomb, man. Nope, bomb is staying on your side. Oh, RF with the quick Roman cancel. Tried to read the burst, but Roy didn't give it to him. And rightfully so. Roy takes it with the bandit revolver. We are on set point. Okay, back to the neutral. We go with RF and his checks. Closest, 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 closest. That far as. Oh, Lord. Yeah, RF fighting for his way out of the corner, man. Okay, I smell a vortex. I don't know why. Oh, or not. Here we go with the far counter hit. Okay, here we go. Alright, finally out of the corner. Oh, and here we go with the Dike kick counter hit. A little bit too far to get anything started though. And Roy Sol going for the wild throw resets, man. Catching RF sleeping a bit. And a very nice block from Roy. This is the Oh, he gets the side switch as well. That was sick. Yo, I still side young goal. It's a bit of pleasure to I see make. And or back to zoning, throwing a ton of bombs on uh, on Roy. Ah, uh, that being said, Roy did manage to get the cavalry, and this is mix up city. RF again, man. RF again with the freaking Abari. Okay, RF not out of this yet. It is still set point. Just served around by RF, but already he is in the corner, man. You just need one hit. Ah, unfortunately for him, the bomb prevented him from doing anything. On the wake up of RF. Okay, and here we go back to neutral. Wow. Ah, Roy running straight under RF and punishing him for throwing his head around. Ça va très bien, Akito, mec. And here, je suis un petit peu fatigué par contre aujourd'hui. Ça s'entend peut-être de par ma voix, mais. Oh, and Roy. Oh, Roy. Oh, Roy forcing pop, forcing Arf to pop the burst. And Roy actually clutching it out and eliminating. Oh, only Dark Necro versus Usui. Usui brisket versus Dark Necro. Now go to Yuki. Let's see how this pans out. Yo, Flynn, how you doing, my brother? You good? And here we go. Dark Necro versus Usui. Two characters that uh, Mr. Hotashi is currently playing. I don't know if he uh, if he actually uh, dropped uh, Nagoriyuki for Brisket or if he is just checking her out. Well, her out for like certain matchup or not. I cr I actually don't know. But that being said, Nagoriyuki, Dark Necro. Let's see how it he pans out against Usui. Let's see how this pans out. And on to the start of the match immediately, Dark Necro trying to push his way in the corner. As he makes his way out, goes for the tick pressure. Very nice back dash from Dark Necro reading the grab attempt. Oh, but gets scooped by the far HS, man. Dark Necro holding on to his deer burst. He doesn't want to commit. Here we go with the wall break. And the air to air for Musi um, gets a conversion, man. Ah, wake up overdrive by... Oh no! And he read something, man! Very nice clutch wake up right there from Usui. Oh, and then no, Usui getting grabbed out of his own blue Roman cancel. Oh, Lord. Okay, and here we go. Usui out of the corner. Goes for the grab and gonna get it. With the 2 HS. OTG, very nicely done by Usui. Manages to win it. Right at the end. 
<laughs> and here we go the freaking uh, the clone into double fuku into command grab. Roger with the save exactly, man. Roger clutched it out. Unfortunately for Usi this time around, Dark Tinkerel does have a pretty hefty lead. No punish on the back dash. Very nice sweep right there from Dark Necro. Gets the kill. One round apiece. We have a tie, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Lord. And oh, and the bait. The bait of the burst on the 2S counter hit. And Dark Necro going ham, man. What are you going to do? Okay, Dark Necro with two bars of blood completely failed. Will need to be a little bit more careful on his super, on his uh, special move usage. Ah, it's okay, it went down a little bit already. And here we go with the jump in, but Usui, man, on point with the 2S, but gets hit by the Dark Necro. Usui finding his way out of the corner, already out of it. Thanks to a wonderful corner carry. Uh, ability of ris of brisket. Ah, uh, this could go really either way. Not going to let. No, he tried to read something. Oh no, but he gets the wave punish off of the off of the 4K. Very nicely done by Usui. Actually managed to take the first match, man. Yeah, let's see how this turns out. The dream is on. The dream is not over. Not by a long run. And Dark Necro man going for the low low to check Usui. Okay, here we go with the corner. Pressure from Usui. Ah, goes for the wall break. Using your drive. Here we go with the safe jump. Oh, and gets the jump in. And get the oh, juggle. Is he? Yes, he is. And gets the kill. Good stuff from Usui, man. Very nicely done. Ah, and here we go, the double Fuku yet again by Dark Necro. Reads the grab attempt yet again with the back dash, man. Thank you very much for the follow, random psychic, and welcome to the bro, Joe. Okay, what is going to be UC's move? Goes for the DP right away. Unfortunately, gets command grab and this should spell death. Or not. Ah, oh. oh, Lord, and the checks from Dark Necro are real. Good stuff from Dark Negro. Okay, here we go to break up by Dark Negro. Uh, goes for the grab. And the wall break. Okay, you see, looking a little bit lost, not gonna lie. Forced to pop the burst. And gets double the jump D for the kill. Dark Necro putting one on the board, definitely not out of this yet. Okay, oh lord, there we go, the 2S counter hit. Unfortunately, couldn't quite get the juggle, but maintains the pressure, so all is well. Oh okay, god, man, the pressure is real. Unfortunately, gets 6 speed out of his far uh, HS. And Dark Necro with the burst bait, man. It's always super tricky to burst correctly against Dark Necro. He knows exactly what timing you want to burst. A master of burst baits. I was going to say, I think you all know what I was going to say. A master and then, well, burst bait, but just get rid of the bait. And, uh, just get rid of the burst and then you get what I was trying to say. Anyways... We are back in the match currently with Usui going straight with uh, the uh, the pressure, the yo-yo pressure. Tried to get the entire, but Dark Necro used the jumping D to alter his landing timing. Dark Necro definitely taking to the airs a little bit more often than during the previous round, and it is definitely working in his favor right now. Takes uh, the second match as well. Let's see if Usui can find some... So the way to reverse the momentum, we shall see. Okay, oh, and we see. Ah, oh, getting grabbed out of her yo-yo. Okay, we see. Got the 
Okizeme, gonna get the corn carry. But would rather keep the yo yo. the yo yo momentum going. Ah, drops the combo, unfortunately. Okay, oh, ah, very nice decision to delay the turtle uh, somersault right there from Dark Necro. Oh no 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 no! Here, let me check. Dark Necro. Oh please. Okay, Dark Necro. I hope it's not another word though. <laughs> I hope it's not another word though. <laughs> I have to say it very very clearly so that there's no misunderstanding. Oh no! <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna make a, 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 a little bit of an effort to really say it very, very clearly so that there's no... <laughs> so that there's no misunderstanding on this one. <laughs> Thank you for the heads up though, Random Psychic. It's much appreciated. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna lie guys, I'm, I'm a little bit... Uh, well, as you can see, you can probably hear it in my voice. I'm not as energetic as, uh, as, pre as before. The main reason being uh, because I'm a little bit under the weather. I've been under the weather ever since this Saturday. Well, this uh, Friday, actually. So yeah, that's the reason why I, yeah, I'm, I'm a little bit less energetic than uh, usual, and that's probably the reason why I'm a little bit more, you know, lazy when it comes to articulate correctly. And <laughs> unfortunately, it didn't do very well for <laughs> Dark Necro's uh, handle. So yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a little bit more of an effort. <laughs> but thanks for the heads up. Anyways, here we go back to the, back to the match, and we see with the air to air counter it. Unfortunately. Uh, gets hit by the 2k from Dark Necro and Dark Necro. I think this is a run back. I, I think Takari played against another Faust. We have like, we had a three Faust. And Takari played against actually no Faust. No, 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 no. No, he didn't. It's his first uh, Faust match today. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Okay, so this is the winner's final. Gonna be Takari versus Nage. Extremely interesting matchup. To say the least. Probably probably in favor of Axel, I guess. I'm not quite sure. Given that Axel can pretty much blow any well most of the items or whatnot of um of um a Faust on the ground, like mini Faust and whatnot. But then again I can see Faust being problematic to Axel as well. Yes, here we go with the checks from Takarin man. <laughs> Going for the 2P man. The three consecutive 2P to prevent Nage from advancing towards it. But Nage going this time around for the dive kick to blow away his 2p. Here we go with the spear. Okay, whiffed snail right there from Takain, unfortunately though. God, ah, Takain getting the side switch. Gonna get the punish on uh, the mix, mix, mix attempt. We went for RC just in case Nage wanted to pop the burst. And managed to uh, seal the deal. One to zero. The one around two. Takari. Let's see how this turns out. Okay, little Fuss is on the ground. Unfortunately for his dad, Takari jumped right over him, not triggering, not triggering him. But right there, he did trigger him. Things are looking pretty good for Nage right there in the corner. Takani trying to make his way out of the corner, but unfortunately for him, Nage. Well, I actually put him out of the corner, but <laughs> all the while dealing a huge amount of damage. Okay, Takani going for the command grab. And here we go with the spear, spear. Ah, Nage had the correct read, but a little bit too far to get the 6p2 connect. And Nage struggling to get in, man. Really struggling to get in. Okay, here we go the Dokkan, the Len Sengeki from Takari. <gasps> that was so slick, man. And Nage going for the run up grab into the RC extension for the kill. Okay, here we go the Afro. Takari not minding getting Afro'd at all. Ah. Okay, here we go Takari fighting from the corner yet again. I'm gonna get hit by the weight though. He's gonna offer uh, Nage a hard knockdown. I 
And here we go with the jump in, unfortunately, for Nage. Because he didn't have any weak this time around. Nage with the checks. Ah, good lord. Again with the checks, man. Definitely doing a number on Nage. Ah, Nage with the corner pressure. That being said, Takani does have two bar of tension. And yeah, the risk gauge is completely full, unfortunately, for Nage. Couldn't quite get anything off of it. And Takani is going to go for the, the world extension. Kind of, I think, messed up his uh, combo. I'm not quite sure. That being said, here we go with Nage, man. Going for the mix, mix, mix. Just needs one more if he wants to kill. Oh, uh, no! That was so unfortunate. The mix, mix, mix couldn't quite juggle in this particular instance. And just like this, the Ryan takes the first match. Okay, let's see if oh, Nage can try to shift the momentum. We shall see. Yeah, I saw he's in it affected by items during one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, I, I, I didn't even realize either. It was pretty crazy. All right, here we go with uh, the dive kick from uh, Nage. Getting hit by Takarin out of the air, though. Very nice OS right there from Nage to catch the back dash attempt from Takarin. Results in him using the overdrive for the wall break. Not enough to kill, though. Okay, Nage going ever so slightly, gets clashed though by not uh, by uh by Takarin. Takarin with the one world combo in the corner. They didn't want to get the wall break probably. And gets it by the 6P of Nage. Nice, uh very, very nice patience from Nage, not going to lie. Yeah, Nage with the standing P into 6P checks, man. Here we go with the jump in by Nage. Force Takarin to pop the burst. And Takarin getting the knockdown. Uh, goes for the... Wow, how many overheads were there? Here we go with the Axel Bomber for the wall break. Ah, and Takarin caught sleeping right there. From the quick arc. Wow, and using his own... Uh, his own burst to keep Axel, to keep Takarin in the corner. Ah, oh, Lord, Nage going for the command grab. And the double overhead using the wake for the kill. We have a match, ladies and gentlemen. One match repeats. Let's see who is going to take it. And on to the next battle. Nage going for the empty low. Wow, and the Rainwater with punishing the Spear from Faust. That was crazy. Nice. That was definitely uh, character knowledge, by the way. Definitely. Uh, oh, wow. Okay. I've been trying to punish the uh, w the block recovery, uh, the recovery from uh, the follow-up of the Scarecrow, but Nagi made it seem like he was plus some block, so it's kind of surprising. That being said, oh wow, Takarin getting 6 speed counter hit. And just like this, Takarin takes this round with the command grab. The full screen command grab. Okay, here we go with the juggle by Takarin. Gets juggled himself. With the mix, mix, mix. Here we go with the clash on the spear. Nage, oh lord, Nage, man. Baiting that burst and look at the optimization. Station. Very nice damage considering it is Faust. I get scooped by the 2 HS though. And Takani should get ah uh, yeah he tried to read wow and the double the double vision man from Takani unfortunately is going to cause his demise. Okay Nage up well actually we still have a tie. 
One round, one match apiece. Wait, there we go with Nage, man, going for the sweep. Gonna get the juggle off of the mix, mix, mix. Little Faust is here to play. Ah, Lord. And Takain still not a free to press button, even though it wasn't his turn technically. Okay, here we go with uh, the... Oh, the jump in from Nage for the kill, man. And Nage up 2-1, to one, man. What is Takarin gonna do? Takarin on the verge of being sent in the loser's bracket. Is Takarin going to uh, resort to use Leo? We shall see. Was it Takarin who had the Leo? I don't know, it's RX who had a, a sub Leo. Takarin has been staying with Axel all the time, I think. He does have a pocket Bridget though, if I recall correctly. Anyways, that being said, here we go. The corner pressure by Nage, man. Throwing everything out of his pocket. Ah, Nage getting the juggle right there. Almost getting the juggle with the cavalry. Gonna get for normal. Combo kills, nothing too fancy. You want to make sure that your opponent is dead after all. Oh, okay, here we go with the 6P. Very nicely done by Nage. 6P entire. Okay, here we go to Lensengeki trying to keep Little Faust out. Wow! That banana, man. Nice juggle from Nage. Gonna get a little fast to help him out. And Takarin back to zoning land. Getting the one vision. Oh, and gonna get it, actually. Oh, no! He didn't believe in it. And Nage, man, just... Uh, 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 I have a tipo. semi for the final. <laughs> okay, that's better. Anyways, so let me uh, get ready with the predictions and then we can watch uh, the match together. But yeah, Nage sending Takain and the losers, man. Hmm? What? Okay, and here we go. Yeah, okay, perfect. Okay, so this is the uh, semi-final from this tournament. Let's see who is going to take this one and make his way to the loser's semi uh, the loser's final. Thank you very much for the follow, Yuki, and welcome to the bro, Joe. Okay, here we go with the corner juggle, man. That was sick, the corner Ball bounce text right there from Roy manages to make him win the first round very convincingly. Dr. Necro going with the double Fukio forward into the command grab. Oh lord! And Roy catching back dash with his thing, then yes. Oh lord! Roy getting command grab himself, man. Watch your feet. Hmm. Okay, here we go with the Shizuriyuki for the kill by Dark Necro. Evens things out. <clears throat> Again with the Shizuriyuki to catch Roy out of the air. That being said, it does uh, raise his blood level very, very quickly, so better be very careful with it. And <laughs> Dark Necro going with the standing HS man. Relentless. And here we go, the 6P counter hit right there from Dark Tank, where gets a full extension with it. It's full conversion off of it, too. And the check from Dark Tank, we're going for the slow and baiting that burst and going for the kill. Good stuff from Dark Tank, where takes the first round very convincingly. That being said, Roy is definitely not out of this yet. Not quite. Hmm. 
Here we go with the counter hit, 2S counter hit. Dark Necro hitting Roy out of the air on block though, but still pushes him in the corner very, very efficiently. And forward Fukio into the Shizuri Yuki, man. It's been working very well for Dark Necro. Roy Saul going with the extension off of the Volcanic Viper. Gonna get the wall break. Oh, and get scooped out by the standing HS counter hit. Okay, Dark Necro trying to probably bait the DP at that particular instant. Wow. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. Dark Necro is not teabagging. He's inputting the uh, the command for the, um, the Beyblade. So he's not teabagging, don't worry. Now, oh, that being said, Roy, man, clutching it out. Lord, puts one on the board as well. It could really go either way, though. Roy, definitely no slouch. And Dark Necro, well, you know Dark Necro. <laughs> Extremely strong Nagoriyuki player. Ah, Roy finding the opening with the 2S. Catching Dark Necro, pressing buttons here. Oh! Again with the standing S, man. And Dark Necro getting the hits in. Wants to keep Roy in the corner. And Roy with the juggle in the corner. Very nice check right there from Dark Necro and tires Roy out of the air. Doesn't commit to the uh, latter part of his combo because he knows that it was going to be uh, dropping. Okay, Roy has some issues trying to get in. He does have the life lead so he could sit it down and he gets the kill with the bandit bringer. Roman cancel. Nicely done by Roy. Puts right, one on the if Roy can keep going in that direction in order to eliminate Dark Necro. But Dark Necro definitely no slouch. Not your run, random run in the mail. Now go to Yuki play. Wow, very nice close S to catch the back dash again from Roy. Especially for Roy, he drops the combo. Nice bended bringer. And nice reaction grab right there from Dark Necro. Gonna get the wall break, not gonna kill. Oh, unfortunately for Dark Necro, Fukioing right into the jumping HS of Roy. Oh, and Dark Necro trying to go for the back dash stick, but Roy was definitely on point on that one. Oh, Lord. It is going down to the wire, but Dark Necro with the immaculate spacing manages to take the first round of this third match. Very nicely done. And here we go with the corner pressure. Ah, ah. Very nice to a scounter hit from Dark Necro. Gets out of the corner, bays the burst, gets the wall carry, and goes for the extension for the wall break for even more tension. Good stuff from Dark Necro. And goes again with the double Fukun to the grab, man. That catches people off guard so often. It's crazy. Dark Necro looking pretty good on the verge of eliminating Roy Saul. We had a very nice run, by the way. And thank you very much for the follow and valid value and welcome to the Brojo. And Dark Necro with uh, the juggle goes for the uh, fake midi into the command grab. This time, oh Lloyd tried to go for air Dark Necro, but Roy was on point, just jumped out of it. Roy going for the wall throw. What you can do, I can do better, maybe. Ah, yeah. Ah, yeah. Dark Necro stubborn in his back dash. <laughs> oh, Lord. All, almost got the, the bait on the burst, though. Not gonna lie. Ah. Uh, oh, no. And he ran straight into it. You hate to see it. We are on set point for only Dark Necro. Let's see how this pans out. 
Dark Necro definitely smelling blood. Definitely smelling blood right there. And on point with the 6 speed gets the juggle. Ah, uh, trading. Uh. And Roy catching that back dash using the 6 and it, the 6S. Gotta get the wall break with the fucking. Yeah, Dark Necro definitely not overextending, but unfortunately just Fukio straight into a standing P. Okay, here we go with the Bandit Bringer. We're still wanting to keep the pressure going. Nice with punish from Roy. <laughs> Ah, finally Roy getting that wall, but that counter hit man. And this time around, Dark Necro using the back dash on the media in order to uh, get out of harm's way and grab his opponent. And oh lord, Roy man, Roy clutching it out. Putting one on the board, we have a tie, ladies and gentlemen, two matches apiece. How is this going to unfold? We shall see. This is the final match of uh, well, of this current set semifinal. Let's see who is going to clutch it out. Wow, Dark Necro and the freaking back dashes at moments you don't anticipate at all. This is crazy, man. Nice pickup though from Roy on the 6HS, on the 6S. And Roy back in clutch mode catches the back dash of Dark Necro yet again. Oh, and Roy running straight into a standing HS counter hit. Gonna get the juggle though in the corner. And Roy takes the lead. We are on set points. Roy bringing it back. Is Roy gonna do it? We shall see. Roy definitely feeling himself. Didn't want to overextend though. He probably doesn't. I get scooped by the 2 k 2 though. Right as he is still in the blocks then. Yeah, Roy trying to get out of the corner, but yeah, Dark Knight for controlling that space right in front of him. Oh, Lord. Ah, you're good with the 2D catching. Oh, no, and Roy. Don't burst, don't burst, don't burst. Don't burst, Roy. Yeah, let's take it. Take the L. Okay, good stuff from Roy. This is going down to the final round of the final match. Who is going to take it? We shall see. Wow, and Roy just running full screen just to land a close S counter hit. Thank you. <laughs> that was sick, man. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, he's gonna get the hard knockdown with uh, the Bandit Bringer. Things are looking pretty good for Roy. Try to go for an empty throw, but... All you need is one hit. One hit. Yeah, not enough. Oh, here we go with the grab. Things are looking pretty good though. Oh, oh, the fire chest. Oh, Lord. Yeah, but Dark Negro almost got it by the Vortex. That was so close. <gasps> nice back dash though from Dark Negro. That was sick. Here we go with the fire chest. Dark Negro definitely wants... Uh, it could go either way, honestly. Like, one counter hit right there, which would trigger Roar's... Yeah, Roy's counter hit. Ah, uh, yeah, look at this, look at this. No! One second too late, and Roy clutches it out. But nah, not in time, but it's fair, it's fair. Good stuff to Roy. Roy with a fantastic run today, not going to lie. Let's see how this spins out. Mm. And on to the next battle. Takarin, wow, baited. Good stuff by Takarin punishing that DP adequately. Ah, but Takarin eating a full fledged HS counter hit in the face. You hate to see it. Okay, here we go with the Bandit Bringer and Takarin using the RC to get the side switch. Wants to keep Roy in the corner where he can contain or try to contain him. Then again, ah, oh, this is the grab, but good stuff by Takarin. 
and Takani going really, really methodically. He doesn't want to overextend and ends up taking the first round. Let's see how this spins out. Start of the round, Bandit Bringer. Roy Saul with the corner combo. Half of your life is gone! Goodbye. Oh, very nice Rainwater catches the dash attempt from Roy. Okay, and here we go with Takarin. Ah! And her straight right there getting pummeled by Roy in the corner. But jumps out of a grab attempt and lands on his opponent for the counter hit. Ah, oh, Lord. 2HS and tires. Ah, oh, then again, man. Here we go with the trade. This is so unfortunate. Okay, here we go with the corner combo from Roy. And finally manages to seal the deal for the second round. We'll get back to neutral. It's very nice Lenzen Geki from Takari. Gonna get the rainwater. Ah, uh, tried to go for the command grab juggle, but couldn't quite get it in time. And Roy takes this opportunity to deal as much damage as possible. Goes for the grab. Goes for the safe jump in. Nice check right there from Takari for the knockdown. Oh, and here we go to Bandit Bringer. Ah. Uh, yeah, Roy is uh, definitely scary. Oh lord, you're gonna vortex counter hit and this should be dead. But no, he drops it! Oh, wait, 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 wait! Wake up a bar, eh? Ah, okay, but he did have a second bar just to make it tip. Oh no! No, that gold burst, that hero gold burst. Yeah, Tucker is desperate to get that, that gold burst, unfortunately. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, nice patience from Roy, not going to die. Roy, definitely, do. I don't know what Roy ate today. Ah, Roy is not from Korea, by the way. <laughs> Sorry, let me change this flag. Roy is from Japan. There we go. My bad, my bad. Okay, and here we go with the other DP. This is unfortunate for Roy, but this still finds the opening. Tries to go for the grab, goes very deep for it, but Takari not committing to anything. Here we go, the Bandit Bringer. Ah, it's gonna go for the extension. Look at the damage. Ah, Guilty Gear. Ah, ah, Guilty Gear Tai. Okay, here we go, the run up grab by Takari. And Roy finding the opening with the sweep into the revolver for the kill. Let's see how this spins us out. Nice check right there from Roy. Roy definitely looking very good today, man. Definitely on point. Nope. No one home on the rainwater. And Takani with the 6 p checks right there. Ah, goes for the knockdown. And Roy with the high-low mix-up using the RC off of the revolver. The bended revolver. Ah, gets... Oh, no! And he's got the burst bait. Roy on point, man. Holy freaking lord. Taking the lead 2-0. to zero. What is Takarin gonna do? What is Takarin gonna do? Okay, and on to the next battle. No one home on the jump in. Very nice grab from Takarin. Goes for the jump in. The safe drop. Uh, scoops Roy with the standing S counter hit. And Roy says, whatever you can do, I'll do it with... 10 times more damage. <laughs> ah, look at the bandit. Bro, oh, and he goes for the reset. Nice back dash from Takarin. Ah, uh, out of the corner. He was out of the corner, I believe. But it's okay. He got some leeway a bit. Ah, uh, the closest. Yeah, Roy trying to read a... Ah, uh, and again, man, with the wild throw. And just like this, ladies and gentlemen, we are on set point. What is Takarin gonna do, man? Oh, no, DP, are you serious? Here we go with the grab from Takarin, finally getting something going on. Takarin, man. Definitely not feeling at ease with uh, with this uh, soul player, Roy. Roy with the gun flame catches the bag dash. Here we go with the safe jump and bite, Takarin. 
Ah, Tangkanin tries. Ooh, no, the same thing against Art Necro happened. You hate to see it, the exact same situation happen against Dark Degro. Okay, anyways, ah, here we go to jump in. Okay, ah, here we go to bend it. Ah, he tried to read the burst. Oh! Almost got the burst there, by the way. Ah, uh, one world. Another world. No. And the freaking standing S for the kill. And just like this, Roy. This is the last match of the evening, unless Roy actually manages to uh, perform a bracket reset. This is Nage versus Roy. Let's go! Let's see how this spins out. This is gonna be sick, and both players letting the intro rolls. So we love to see some good intros. We don't get to see them very often afterwards. Uh, after all. So here we go, this is Nage rocking the pink color. Actually, both players rocking pink color right there. Pink, I love this color as well. So let's see. Who wears a pink better than the other? We shall see this in a couple of seconds. Nage, Faust versus Roy. So let's go. Let's rock. And on to the neutral. Very nice checks from Nage. Manages to kick Roy out of his face. And Roy going for the very, very... Oh, Lord. Uh, the very unsafe... Um, what's it called? 6, six HS right there. And the uh, Vortex, I'm sorry. That being said, here we go with Roar running a train uh, on Nage right now. Ah, uh, get the gear. Nah, it's okay. It's decent damage, all things considered. Oh, okay, very good. Roy going for the safe jump and the anti bag dash text right there. Going straight to the close S, which catches the bag dash. Oh, here we go with the clash. Nage fishing for. Neutral moves right there. Trying to prevent Rook from running straight towards him. And Nage just content to... Yeah, just throw items at the other side of the screen as he should. I mean, ah, lord, here we go with the Scarecrow. But Roy on point punishes the TP attempt from Nage. And Roy going for the extension station if... And Nage, man, not... Not... Yeah, Nage, not... Bursting there. This is so unfortunate. <clears throat> and just like this, Roy taking the first match, man. Lord, that was a uh, probably miscalculation from Nagi, I suppose. <clears throat> yeah, the damage, man. Hi, ah, guilty gear. We love to see it. <laughs> okay, here we go with the bandit revolver from Roy. I gonna get speared though. Very nice delayed, uh, what's it called? Delayed burst right there to actually hit Nage with the burst aura. And Roy going for the extension station combo in the corner. And get the wall break. And still running in the spear. Nage with the mix, 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 trying to, yeah, contains Roy. Goes for the low. The double mix, mix, mix. And goes uh, very nicely done. Mix, mix, mix again for the kill. Okay, finally. Nagi waking up. It's fine, it's fine. Should be fine. Here we go with the spear. Can spear fire. Wow. And the big far HS right there from Roy for counter hit. This did a lot of damage. Go with the head throw. The head bomb. Roy catches uh, the uh, catches the cavalry, but yeah, Nage just flew right over it. Didn't even care. Little Faust came out to play. What are you gonna do, Roy? Roy finally pops the burst. Okay, here we go with uh, the wall break and the kill for Roy. Man puts. One round on the board as well. If he takes this one, he's gonna get a pretty nice lead. That being said, Roy is in the loser's side of the racket, so he needs to win two sets in a row. That means three first to three, uh, two first to threes back to back against Nage, or he is going to lose. Nage himself is in the winner's side, so he only needs one. And here's where we go with the jump in, safe jumps by Nage. Definitely waking up a little bit more this time around. Doesn't want to, uh, 
to lose this one. And yeah, Naga just checking. Doesn't want to overextend. Definitely does not want to lose this one. Ah, and he goes for the delayed dust for the kill, the surprise kill, by the way. Okay, Naga taking this one pretty nice, pretty clutchly at the end. So let's see how Nage continues, if he is gonna keep this momentum or if Roy is gonna go ham again and steal it from him, we shall see. It would have, oh, ah, that dive kick was so cheeky, right under the gun flame, man. Oh, and here we go with the Vortex to go underneath Little Faust and hits Papa Faust. Nage forced to pop the burst. Oh, nice conversion right there on the wig. That was sick. Oh, here we go with Nage and the grab. Gonna get the corner positioning. Goes for the overhead. The mix, mix, mix. Into quick Roman cancel. So, Nage does not have any tension bar anymore, but does manage to get the counter hit off of the... Off of the... Um, off of the mix, mix, mix. Small com small combo of a million damage. I need to check this this clip afterwards. I'm gonna check this clip. This intrigue, this uh, intrigues me. <clears throat> Anyways, here we go with Roy, man. Ooh, get running straight into the standing cape from Nage. Nage getting hit by the sweep counter hit, and Roy. Ah, oh, Lord, no! You had to see it. Oh, Roy not giving an F about the hammer, man. What hammer? I don't see any hammer. <laughs> ah, very nice check right there from Nage. But, man, the, four, the 6P counter did a lot of damage right there from Roy. Nage forced to use the... Um, wow. The low profile on the bed. The revolver was sick. The Faust is out. Went out to play. Wow, no. That was a bad lead time. That was... That was very cheeky, first and foremost. I, maybe it was a, uh, an execution error, actually. I, I, I want to believe that. Gun flame! Here we go, the flame. Oh! Nage going for the mix, mix, mix. Gets the knockdown. Gets the knockdown again. Ah, very nice with punish yet again from Nage. Nage definitely is playing extremely extremely um slowly and definitely not overextending it's a contrast from their first game where he tended to want to go right in the face of of roy and you can see that the patient is actually paying quite a lot this is the second match in a row that i guess currently uh well took currently so good stuff by naget not uh finished though roy has one more chance so let's see if he is capable of seizing that chance. We shall see. Nice jump in counter hit with the dive kick. Rissol also forcing Papa Nage to, to pop the burst. And you're going to mix, mix, mix. Too far to get any punish though, which is lucky for him. And Nage going for the quick uh, low in order to open his opponent up. Get the corner positioning, Little Faust is out. Preventing Roy from moving. Ah. And my goodness, man. Using the TP into the quick command grab is so cheeky. And just like this, Nage is on tournament point. If Nage wins this one, the tournament is over and we will have a new champion. Let's see if Roy is going to let this slip or if Nage is going to be able to secure it. We shall see. Okay, Nage uh, doesn't want to overextend, goes for the spear, gets hit by the gun flame, and the closest counter hit for what is probably going to be the kill. Nope, no kill here. Almost there. And here we go with the check. Roy, ah, uh, going straight on the banana split. Oh, very nice spot. Oh, no, he couldn't quite get anything because Roy actually had the cavalry. This is going to be death, yeah. No RC, no tension bar to try to uh, to to Roman cancel out. They had no other choice than to take it. Anyways, here we go back to uh, the neutral. 
Very nice check from Nugget. Oh no! The air maneuverability of Nage is absolutely out of this world, man. Oh no, but he gets wild thrown. Good to see it. Ah, okay, this round Nage is the one to bring the heat. Yeah, and you can see Roy definitely playing a lot less. Ah, but this might actually spell death, and it is! And just like this, ladies and gentlemen, just like this. Nugget is your Brojo Cup number 80 champion!